your fundamentals are all screwed up and you have big issues here. Your fundamentals are all screwed up and you have big issues here.
Hey, what's going on? Hello, hello, hello. It is uh, me, Ace. It's Saturday. Time for some good ass tech and can't wait. Um, of course, uh, we are starting in 10 minutes, so don't fret. Uh, you got some time. I just thought, you know, I'd start the stream five minutes earlier. Um, because, you know, today um, it's a new game. We've got a lot of new players. So I thought, you know, I might as well go through, um, you know, sort of how things work, essentially. Also, these replays just taunting me with not knowing the, the punishes. How, how am I supposed to know? Okay, I didn't lap. I didn't lap yet. Please. Good feature, though. Good feature, though. Um, but, yeah, uh, let me, instead of the replay, take you guys to the bracket obviously um, we've got a couple players who need to check in uh, so I will call those out first actually let me just put out some players here and um, don't care like I seeded the bracket kinda but you know you can't really see the new game so. it is how it is <laughs> okay in any case um, we need uh, Pew Pew can't go, so we need a uh, Sion to check in. We need uh, the Infection to check in. Uh, we need a uh, Dabi to check in. We need Seratul to chip in. Uh, chip in, check in. Uh, uh, we need Decoder to check in. We need a Bitteress to check in. Uh, we need uh, Genji Uesugi to check in. And uh, we need uh, Ispelen to check in. Caliber 7. 62 to check in, a Shady Imposter to check in, and the Etienne to check in. So again, the, the Etienne, Shady Imposter, Caliber, Ispulin, uh, Genji Uizugi, Bitteress, Decoder, Seratol, Darby, The Infection, and Sion. You guys got eight minutes to check in, or you will be DQ'd, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, we've got some nice, uh, some strong Polish players. We've got Lakomi, Trimmer, obviously, we got a uh, Scribble as well. Yeah, no 2D charts yet. We'll, you know, we'll see if they, they add Terry from KOF. Who knows? Who knows? Um, all right. If you are new here and you're wondering sort of how stuff goes, uh, well, you go into your settings. And um, obviously, you've got to make sure that you have the same name on Discord and on your launch. So if you want to change your name on your launch, again, it, that's very important because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the ass for me to find you. And your opponents to find you. So if you go to your settings here in Challenge, you can actually change your name in here, which is pretty nifty. Uh, you can also, um, if you need to, you can unregister. Uh, if you have to DQ, you know your fridge is on fire. Uh, you have to walk your dog, whatever. Right? Uh, you can you can DQ here. Uh, if you want more permanently, you can do it in settings here as well. Obviously, um, but yeah, you know you can also change your name on. Um, on Discord, if, if need be. But yeah, starting in seven minutes. Uh, I'm just remembering that I forgot one thing. So one second, let me just go in and do that. Off camera, thank you, game. Um, actually, fine. wait, what did I forget again? Man, I already forgot what I forgot. Oh, no mind. I remember what I forgot. Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, I feel like for me, Reyna kind of feels a bit similar to feels similar to uh, to Lydia. Just just for me, just for me in, in general. But I don't know if, if I'm just uh, you know, I did I didn't actually play her, so I don't know. It just feels like the way that you kind of forced to go into stances uh, with a lot of stuff. It uh, it feels similar to how it felt playing uh, playing Lydia. Uh... Yeah, right now it's kind of sick, um, but it's like um, I what I've heard. I haven't really played her much myself, but what I've heard is that some some of the good players are saying she feels a bit. Um, was saying she feels a bit like uh, unfinished or unpolished or something. Like uh, feels a bit like she needs like something. It feels a bit weird playing her. We'll see. You know, it's definitely something that will change over time. Hell yeah, Frozen. Well, maybe you can pick out the winner again, you know? You never know. 
Ba, 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 ba. Actually, let me check something. I uh, I forgot. I forgot actually. You're his wife. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. If Sion doesn't check in, Sion will get DQ'd, so it's it's perfectly fine. Um. So when I do a lobby, one thing I completely forgot to check uh, is um, how to actually invite people that are not on my friend list. <laughs> that, that I just now remember. Because I, I did all the testing, set everything up, but I actually kind of forgot how to uh, invite people. So I have to invite friends, so they actually have to be my friend for me to invite them. Lobby link? I don't think you can. Yeah, lobby link might work. That's actually a good point. Yeah, Ispelin. All right. Uh, remember to check in on the bracket if you haven't on Ultra Launch. That's true. That's true. I can do the. I think I can do the Steam Join Lobby thing. Actually, yeah. I have a I have a link here. I actually do wonder if they can just find the game. That is a good point. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. Let me let me just check. Yeah, 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 I have the lobby link. Uh, composition, we start 15 past, so we start in three minutes. So uh, bracket is not final. Bracket is final 15 past, so we have three minutes. We're just doing a bit earlier stream today because, uh, you know, I wanted to go over the rules a little bit. Just be uh, patient. We, we, I, I'm testing it. <laughs> we'll see if it works. One sec. Well, we're starting two minutes anyway. So we've got two minutes. I'm someone, you know, I've got someone on the case to check for me. So it's good. Oh, yeah, that's that's fair, actually. One sec. One more minute. Yep, and um, use the Matrino, obviously. But in any case, um, I'll have someone test joining the lobby real quick uh, before we start stream with the link. And last call we'll do that now obviously uh let me see if anyone signed up last second that i have to see um, nope all right we're all good so let me just cop mark a couple matches on stream <laughs> so for stream Again, now the bracket is final, but please wait with playing until I uh, put a couple streams on. So Scar Novak wanted to be on stream. That's fine. I can put Scar Novak on. Your Seppen? That's a long time since I saw our name. Your Denmark against Valix? 
we'll watch that. And we will do... Should do this one, I feel like. So I will do here. Let me see what could be... Yo, this one? I won't do this one. Man, my homies might be playing. That, that's pretty interesting. Uh, we'll do... Well, we definitely do this one there. I kind of want to see this match. It might be Denmark against uh, Oscar, could be interesting. Put this on there. Again, I'm just marking so I, I remember to do it. And yeah, am I in the correct one? Let's go to Discord. Help desk. Bam! You can now game. Just give me one sec, chat. Uh, if you're on stream, I will ping you. And uh, yeah. And without further ado, let me say hello to my uh, co-commentators to begin with. My man, Rexu, or as you call him, r 3 Ketsu. What's good, man? Hello? When do you want me to hate you for a one? I mean, I thought you already hated me, right? So I, I don't really have to uh, play it up. Actually, oh, you can see my oh, dirty um... living room. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your microphone that, peaking as hell. <laughs> It doesn't exist. <laughs> Wait, yeah. so let's stop in here. Okay. Hello. Thanks, Rashman. Uh, hello, hello, everyone. Happy Saturday evening. Um, it pretty much almost happy Christmas to every single Tekken fan out there because it's a uh, very good weekend, the Tekken 8 launch weekend. I hope you've all been having fun with uh, the new game, new systems. Um, heat, I think, um, undecisive on it, a personal take, um, it kind of forces aggression, which is pretty much like what the game actually wants you to do, but, yeah. uh, I grew up watching, um, Korean Tekken, so for me, like, good Tekken is playing it slow, not rushing your opponent, so I guess maybe um, that will change and I will uh, start enjoying also aggressive ones. I mean, I do enjoy aggressive Tekken, but at the end of the day, like, footsies is is nice. Yeah, yo, this game coming in frame one hating, <laughs> i love to see it. <laughs> what do you mean? I just said that it's nice. I'm having fun no. with it. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun as well. It's very fun to play, um, but yeah, it, it's like, Figuring out when you can press now, it's, it's a bit scary, you know, obviously he sets up a lot of situations where like, shit, I can't press anything, right, I'll, I'll die. Um, let me just see if I can find, I'm just trying to find the old copy pasta. And sometimes it's, it's mentions in stream. I feel like Discord, um, Discord kind of messed up the... Um, messed up like search function now with with like one of the new updates and I don't entirely know how they've messed oh. it up but it's how we uh... all right we good we good discord has been getting progressively worse with yeah. every single update since like three years ago which is uh an impressive feat honestly not not a lot of software managed to uh, go progressively downwards. Uh, composition, what do you mean you're not in the bracket? If you're not in the bracket, uh, it means you didn't check in uh, on the tournament, unfortunately. Um, so we had like a check-in period and you had to check in. Yep. Um, I think there was also a ping to check in, so that's... Uh... Like, no excuse at all. Uh, by the way, 50 euros in the Bacherino pot is a very, very generous amount to start off. So, shout out to Isk yep. for that. Uh, is this going to be a one time or will it at, at uh, every tournament have 50? Uh, that, dude, I'm not made of money. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to, to make sure. Um, one sec. Code. 
but I would say that I am uh, I'm planning to do something interesting with it, like set up some some larger price pool one way or another. Uh, maybe make it like in a league format. I don't know entirely yet, mm. because I feel like making it a league, I can realistically make a, a larger price pool uh, that way. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do that, but I, d you know, the game is a bit too new for that, in my opinion. Um, I don't, you know, want to set up too much when when the game's just out. Um, so we'll, yeah. we'll, you know, we'll wait a bit, especially for setting up the setting up like the um, what's it called, like the the regions and stuff. I, I don't entirely know if if these regions are gonna work. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of doubt I think around the netcode. So <laughs> so far, okay, I have only played like Netherlands and Spain, but. I had no issues, and I think Moldo to Netherlands is a bit rough as a connection, so that's a quite, uh, quite a good start, I'm gonna lie. I've had trouble, especially in, in other games, so I think since I've had good connections so far, it's it's good. Oh, are we starting off with Steve? Yeah, I think I think so. So, uh, Scar Novak up against Seppen. Seven should rename themselves to Abe. Abe. Oh, Take an Abe. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen this before. Oh. Oh, download ghost. That's all sick. All right. So we got our first match started here. It's going to be Seppen on one side, Scar Novak on the other. How much have you uh, played the game? Uh, I've played uh like. I played the first to 10 with Lazarus yesterday, and we did a three hour lobby earlier today. I think like six, seven hours. And then I started the story, which I hope I'll finish this weekend. So that's good. No spoilers. Otherwise, I will take you from the bracket. Yeah. Um, hope it's gonna spectate soon, question mark. Uh, uh, <laughs> I Maybe they're choosing the stage. Yeah, could be. Taking, uh, you one. can't choose the stage. Or choosing the custom. Um... Yeah, it's taking, uh, taking uh, a while. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. It was working just when I tested it an hour ago. Fine, maybe it's because I've mm. tapped out uh, for a while. Who knows? Uh oh. G game? Interesting. Uh, it's already looking uh, a little bit rough. Yeah, that's like or one of the things I hope they fix, right? Uh, the same, if you have like the replay on, I don't know if you how much you tried to lobby, but if you have like replay on, so you, you go to like game game two and they just replay, then it actually crashes like the the, the spectating, so you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like if you uh, were doing like first to twos, the first game was always fine. The second, yeah. I, I always crashed. It, it feels like you get another message like quit spectating or something so i thought that you had to confirm it but yeah. there is no message to to like remain watching so uh, i don't know what they were cooking i think they have started oh, oh wait what oh that's just my controller this uh, just, i think they have <laughs> don't worry about though. it yeah i think they might be playing game one we'll see it's kind of weird i guess i'll uh try not Tapping out next time, who knows? Maybe that'll work. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, I think that Dalk you don't spectate as well, because I think it happened to me a bit. I see. So I should actually be in full screen mode every time. Maybe that works. I don't know. Probably, yeah. Weird. Uh, in any case. Uh, will the game count? I guess. Yes. It counts, yeah, it yeah. will. Well. Zulu, how could you? I, I pinged like a hundred times, man. I mean, hey, if Zulu is coming here to do him about characters, I don't want them in the bracket. No offense, but I've seen enough doing about Chips Anuf. Please. I wonder who they play, though. Who do you play? Uh, me. I mean, you can you can see where I play. I still play Asuka. Uh, Asuka, not gonna lie. Oh, Zulu plays the Xiaoyu. I know. So that's even worse. Always the B characters. Uh, Asuka, though, uh, I still hate her moveset. 
but her her bottle is, is so sick in this game. Yeah. She looks so good. And she doesn't seem to be especially good. Um from we uh, you see a lot of there's a lot of Asuka cobbing going on right now because uh, yeah. it seems like she's uh she's not in the best state right now. I've seen the further streets, unfortunately. Um I have been played a little bit against her. Uh I think oh. I think she's fine. Okay, I'm not I'm gonna be in the game now, I'm not gonna be tapped out. We'll see if that works. Maybe it you have to be full screen for that to work, which is insane. But uh, La Komi, uh, for this one, I have actually said no customs allowed, just because I don't know how crazy the customs are. But maybe we should just allow them. I didn't write it in the rules. Yeah. But but yeah, I I have not written customs allowed, so you just do it without customs for now. We'll we'll do it like serious mode first, okay? Oh, getting ready to spectate, and Seven is up 1-0. Oh. All right, do not be tapped out. That's um, that's gonna be interesting with like. Wait, it still didn't work. Game, please. Okay, this maybe someone's losing the stage. I hope so. <laughs> it does take. I hope so. It does take a while because uh, there's like three, four seconds behind. That's actually kind of that's kind of interesting. If that is the thing that makes it not work, it, I wouldn't man. think so, right? Surely. What? Why is it not working? Well, interesting. Hmm. Uh, okay, maybe the first one is okay, but like two games in a row fail to spectate. Yep, that's that's interesting. For sure. Man. Anyways, um, I guess I will. We'll wait here. We'll see how it ends. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because I no. So stay just means. So if you have stay on, it means uh, you're just like not getting readied up. You're just spectating yeah. essentially. You pass. Yeah. What did I do with the? I wonder if it does anything <laughs> there. Fall up there. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just let this one play out, and then I'll try full screening, see if that works. Hopefully, that changes something. Question mark. Yeah. Uh, Again, uh, new game, right? We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, it's good gameplay. Good gameplay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Seven is cooking. Up one zero. I mean, they cooked. Maybe they're getting cooked right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a pretty long first game, that's true. Also, why does the chat become huge? <laughs> Did I? Did I start... Oh, I see. Oh, that's funny. fancy. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So what what have you been up to? Are you going to, you know, do you plan now you're commentating some Tekken? Are you planning to continue commentating Tekken? Um, are you going to be traveling around? Stuff like that. Any plans? Uh, yes, actually, like I should be commentating Tekken 8 at Outplay uh, yeah. uh, in like a month. Yeah. Or less than a month now. So that's that's hype. Um, um, I definitely intend to learn much more and play much more Tekken 8 than I did Tekken 7 because I think I had a maybe I had a combined like 800 hours in Tekken 7, which for a Eight year game is nothing almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The main issue is with Strive still going on strong, and it kind of still is my main game. And with Under Night, which I really, really want to get into comms for as well, it's going to be really hard to uh, allocate time yeah. accordingly to every game. Yeah, especially I think uh, for Tekken, it's a bit of a difficult game for, for commentary. That's what I'm hearing a lot, at least, because there's so much stuff you have to know. Like, just the amount of moves right in the game. Um, yeah. Make, makes it uh, rough. I do think that um, Europe needs more commentators. Uh, yeah. I think, or like, because all of a sudden, like, the player commentators are outnumbering the actual commentators, which is funny. Yeah. Um, so, oh, it's true. 
Wait, now okay, I'm on left. Oh, seven. Yes. One. Wait. Uh, we are very sorry that we did not get our games on stream. Yeah, there's like some monkey paw. He has to be on stream, and we didn't see the game. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't Man. see the L. <laughs> That's, that's fucking that's weird. <laughs> Anyways, let me let me put it in full screen. Maybe that does something. Um, uh, because obviously the game doesn't crash nowadays in, in full screen like we had with the uh, seven. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the the thing is, I think when I tap out, you might uh, not see anything for a while. But my freeze, so that that's like strictly worse. But we'll see. Uh, maybe try like. Um doing stay or pass or whatever the command is and when the players are about to play undo it so like click stay again so that you are mm. next i mean we, we, ju we just tested before the game and it worked fine so oh with stay yeah yeah, yeah. that that's what Oof. we did last time we just uh i, I literally yeah it's first to two it's first to two it's uh tekken so tekken is, uh, is first to two I didn't cook, but still won. Sunburn. Good stuff. It was Sunburn who won, right? Uh... uh oh. Let's take uh, got uh, ping someone real quick. Okay. We have some results already. Um, Raj yeah. winning his first game. Okay, let's go, child. And Sunburn losing. Man. Marco winning game one. That's good. Yep. Right. Okay. Yo, the the fellas doing kind of good. They're cooking. So now we hope next match. Hopefully, we uh, you know, we uh, we get we get some action. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. We definitely had words. We didn't have a lot of action. So now it's. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things to say, right? Um, new game. I'm definitely excited. It seems like it might be, uh, might might be a bit frustrating some matchups because it's very, um, you know, it's very aggressive, I should say. Yeah, uh, like with with heat, that I think it could be a game changer. Like in. In Tekken 7, you did see a lot of, of comebacks, but I think comeback potential in Tekken 8 uh, is insane. With with chip damage as well, with uh, with the fact that you actually regenerate health when uh, when you're attacking or regenerate chip damage. Um, that, that's I think that's going to create a lot of, of comebacks that you couldn't see in Tekken 7 because, of course, there was not chip damage in there. All right, so we got both players. Okay, crossing fingers. Valix and Hilde. So Hilde is a Danish uh, Valix. He's a Moldovian FGC rep. Moldova. Yeah. Um, and and the funny thing is, um, I think Empress is the same. All the Cooney players are swapped to Reina. I feel like. Oh God. Does I mean, like. <laughs> it, uh, they must be a fan of purple. Yeah, Hula as well, um, Danish player, played Cooney in, uh, in 7. Oh. So we'll see, hopefully this time it works, question mark. Oh. The problem then? Oh. Full screen? Full screen yes. works. Okay, you can't, you can't be borderless. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't be borderless, then it doesn't work. What an insane okay. thing, man. <laughs> Chicken um, is a game of all time. All right. Oh my god, mommy, Reyna. Um, so, Moldovan community immediately said about this custom is that she dresses like a white woman. <laughs> white woman normal becoming. Yeah. Can you see the game now, by the way, when I'm tapped out? I, right now I am, yes. Okay, then uh, fine. Okay. Then perfect. Then this is uh, the setup. Oh, okay. Going immediately for the E burst. Big damage. Yeah. So the low, the sweep, double sweep. Oh, but some kicks. Valix trying to come back. Look at the life regenerating. 
Let's also, the wall break. And that is a uh, IC. Oh, sorry, that is um, IESF finalist Valix, by the way. I actually think that was from uh wait is he romanian moldovian yes oh wait i think yeah i don't know bro he's it, always moldovian in my heart it's fine yeah, look at all this he's cooking though. he's cooking on the jab there. round three good stuff yeah so Five. one to one immediately goes for that launch around start hey hey jesus okay optimized combos Damn, getting also the uh, heat, whatever, heat dash. Yeah. Look at all the pressure, damn, but a perfect. Yeah, and down 3-4, right, still a good tool to have. Always such a good one. I think, especially like, in, in Tekken 7, Warren's offense was impressive, in Tekken 8, he's going to be remarkable. Yeah. Even though I really saw Warren's main zooming. Reyna and Rage. Some damage. Oh, and then again the train giving the win to so Valix. That is 1 0. Quite an impressive three rounds after the first one. Let's see what uh, Hilda can, can change. Oh, we got the stupid uh, side swap thing again. I guess that makes sense. Oh, Moldova number one. Hey, wait a second. Rex, who should go and Dave, not me? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Nick V calling me out in the chat. What the hell, man? I can't believe it. Continuing, okay, trying to space it, but the punish of the top four and one two. Alex keeping up the pressure. And uh, it feels like Hilda is a little bit uh, having it rough to try to revert the turn. Strength. Ooh, there's the electric. And he to always get the uh, perfect electric to just frame. Damn, look at this! There's also oh. the uh, stage burst. Damn, that kills and throw. I think now throw always kills when you just enter range, so you, it does enough damage. Um, if you haven't healed, of course. I think that's a buff because I'm pretty sure in 7 you could survive a throw in range. Yeah. So, um, one thing I'm kind of struggling with right now uh, in the game is that I am uh, I'm struggling with. Like when you can actually kill, sometimes it feels like stuff do more damage due to how the uh, well, you have the, the chip life. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh, that's three. And there's a low, good low there. Oh, wait, they swap side, but they don't swap side in game when you spec it. That's interesting. Oh, okay, that's nice. Four, the block, but the power crush works out for Valix again. Oh my god, big head! What? That's the electric. Another one, another one! Reyna has the command dash to get the electric as well, so that's uh, really helpful. When he hit! When he hit, Valix finds a good launch. So, job string doesn't get the, uh, the follow up. Valix now set point. One more round. Okay. Jesus. 3 4. Can I get that final last bit of damage in healer in trouble? And that will do it. Moldova, number one. Yeah, very strong display. And, and by the way, let me just tell Valix is the weakest of the whole uh, Moldovian FTC. Is there another member of the Moldovian yeah, FTC? There's like three people or so. Ooh. Oh, I think uh, Grey is Moldavian, right? Uh, Sinbird is uh, Moldovian, and um, I, I, don't, I, I'm pretty sure there's a third one that I, um, you know, I played. 
Sinbird. Nice gust lighting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sinbird is the worst one. Yes, yes. Wait, where's, where's, what's Chai called actually? In, uh, oh, there we go. So now we're going to get the strongest uh, Swedish fella. I know. In, in my local DMs. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, Mr. Ricefield Manager Chai. And uh, up against Just Scarnet. I feel like Just Scarnet might also be from Scandinavia. It, it's definitely a very Finnish name. Yeah. Uh, or some has been trained at Moldovia before he became known. <laughs> then why aren't you known as well? Um, so basically, Moldova, uh, we kind of discussed this right at the end of Tekken, uh, Tekken 7. It was there at the Tekken World Tour final. If you don't believe me, you know, we can just watch the VOD back. Um, but they, they talked about, you know, undiscovered regions and that Moldova probably is the next one that we're going to discover. You know, there's so much talent there. Uh, two players and they're all, you know, both of them at least good enough to get to Fujin <laughs> in Tekken 7. I mean, so probably, you know, and, and they're up in age too. They're, they're getting old. So... You know, they, they're, they're about to get some you know, life experience. Um, plus, they're both, or at least one of them is a bum. So, you know, it, it's it's pretty pretty nice. Um, they have a very, very friendly chat. Or very friendly stream. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nicest. They're both, both my friends, right? So it's, it's fine. Like, how is Panther doing, actually? Um, he got a DQ win. Yo! Pantherosid, oh my god, me okay. Oh, that's rough. I wonder who Neon K is playing. Uh, they lost Anna, they lost Katarina, they lost Kunimitsu, they still have Lily, so I guess it's, it has to be Lily. Yeah, it might be. I mean, Lily Lily's kind of good. Lily's kind of good, so it wouldn't surprise yeah. me. We have someone right. called Masku47 in the bracket. <laughs> Main man Masku47. Let's go. I, I yep. don't know where um I don't know where Jiskana is from. I, I wonder if we're ever gonna know. I don't think they're from Finland. The name is not new. What black Jaskarna? Yes, please. Let me Please, uh, when I ping you when you're on stream, please just let me know. Poland. Oh, thank you very much. Poland? Oh, okay. Uh, uh. So now I'll try not to be tapped out of my full screen game, and hopefully that'll work. <laughs> Let's see, though. Please. <clears throat> All right. So we uh, can. Uh. Go whenever you're ready to spectate. We and yes, we are in Claudio against Victor. So I don't know anything about Victor. So this is going to be funny. Yeah, same. Oh. I actually, I haven't played Victor at all. And I haven't played against Victor at all. Yeah, same. I only watched the trailer. Oh my god, Metal Gear Solid Snake. Yo. Round That's a custom. Fight. Let's go. Old Muffins. Oh my god. The interactions. The Night Tekken 8. Oh my god, look at the strings. Launch, good down for 2, I guess. From well, just Garnet. Stop. Roll combo. Now the rice field farmer trying to get some aggression going. Nice. So 4 into the running 2. Good aggression. Oh, nice hop kick there, the whiff punish, on point. Push towards the wall, doesn't get it. Now has access to Starburst. Oh my god, that's a huge move. Get another one. We go. And that's uh, a lot, we saw that as well, right, at the uh, Tekken 8 exhibition at Red Bull. A lot of the, the meta uh, around it is that you will, uh, you know, you activate it kind of to alleviate pressure. Almost like a burst in a way, like a, a weaker burst. Yeah. Interesting, oh. you know, we got like an aggressive tool, right? It's all about aggression, but it's actually used uh, mostly for defense, it seems like, at least right now. Ooh. Oh my god, 
Oh, from the pickup? Stuff here from the Scarlet. In the wall. Damn, Jesus Christ. Look at that. Should counter hit. That's the, I think that's a new stagger. in the uh, It kind of leaves you standing, but reeling. And the guarantees a follow up. So that's huge. Not explored though on the sweep. This should be a very good round start for uh, Chai Bing. Oh, 4-3, no dice. Big whip to punish from Just Garnet. There's the Heat Engager, or that's that Heat Burst. Okay. Just so screw early because of the side angle. It's a lot of life back. Ooh, nice punish. Oh, good block there from Chai. Mm. Looks like the uh, Master Raven Rage Arc. See what the pressure just guarded. Still one touch away from taking the game, but they're running too! Close their health pod. Yeah, staying alive, so Chai was also a um, Claudio main in Tekken 7. We have actually seen him quite a bit on Salty. Um, oh, counter hit there, just gone it. Pick up. Again, just trying to pressure right. And I wonder how much experience Chai has against this character, but definitely seems like something, yeah. you know, you have to lap. <laughs> While running too. While running, you know, changing to be a bit more lenient in this game, so uh, that is very nice. Makes uh, characters like Claudio Drakenov a bit more dangerous. Just kind of in trouble! Heat burst. What are we going to do? I think Dot going for their own heat burst, but instead managing to finish just kind it off. Now it's the final round. I love the animations as well. At round start of the final round. Good interrupt with the down jab. Chai Bing forcing Just Garnet to almost to the corner. Damn, look at how much that absorbed. What a whip punish from Just Garnet. Chai's at the wall. What is she? Another huge counter there, Chai. No life needs to find them comeback here, but and no, no will do it, and that is just counted up once zero. Very very good stuff from just counted there. Look a little bit weird for them because they went two rounds up and then they lost two rounds. Uh, but they went on ham with the offensive. Wait, Dragonov immediately, All right? I mean, he was on uh, Dragonov before. Um, like in in here in the so I assume oh, okay. has played you know some uh, some dragon of maybe. Oh okay yeah yeah my bad my bad. Uh, and the the problem with new characters is that y you don't know their frame data you you or like you know maybe a couple of strings but unless you've been playing against them for like six seven hours uh in in the these two battle. days Tekken has been out Jin. Oh, um, the gym. Uh, yeah, frame data is going to be a little bit rusty. Maybe you remember two, three punishes, um, but even then, like to to remember them because you don't have the muscle memory punishing it, it's going to be really hard. Yeah. Round one. Fight. Okay. Let's see how the will for a child. My stock under the electric, the hook fist, gunshot, and the stomp. Good float. Forward four. That's a four, of course. Uh, magic fours are a thing of the past now. Oh, the electric is blocked as well. Forward four. Nice. Knows the combo as well. I mean, why wouldn't he? <laughs> First. Damn. So much damage. Let's go for it again. From uh, Chai. And a massive life deficit. Even death would stop from Just Garnet. Yep, this first round to Just Garnet. Very nice. Hitting the low. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Jesus. So much damage. Yeah, I mean, this game, right, you can do. Well, it feels like it's it's about the same as in 8, maybe a bit more in uh, 7. A bit more in certain interactions. Eesh. 
Is it though? Because that was without a war, that was almost 50%. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you should they see. won the game. I've seen uh, Dragonov uh, in this game do like 65 in the wall. <laughs> but is it day one Dragonov? Oh, is he dead? Yeah. No? Ooh. Oh my god, it's with the leg. That's a confident animation as well. Fight. Yeah. Not just Garnet on set point. Sheesh. Sword. Two, nice. Try to go for the low. Okay. Lucky trade for both. Try to whiff punish there. A little bit too far. Yeah, just a down for one right. Trying to create that space. Okay. Here we go. So my controller disconnected. Don't worry about it. Electric. Oh, it's a launch. Trying to be dead. Maybe we'll use the heat. No. One more touch would be an Look at the hop kick. Gets a throw. Yeah. And one hit away. And another load to take that round. 3 0. I feel like Chai, you know, maybe hurried a bit too much swapping character. I don't know if the Jin was it. Because I feel like he did pretty well with the uh, like Claudio. But that's how, you know, how it be sometimes. Um, so, yeah. Just kind of taking it 2 0 there over our own Chai Bing, the rice field manager. Oh, yeah, Bandai Namco merch in the background. There we go. Um, yep. Shouts to Bandai Namco Nordic giving us a bunch of stuff that we can use for our um, our locals tournaments. There we go. Like, we got a hood, we got like a beanies, we got like shirts, cool gin print on it, um, like tote bags and uh, beach balls. Okay, cool. Can I buy some from you? No, you have to travel to Denmark and win it legitimately uh, on, you know, February the 10th. And uh, that, that's it. <laughs> can I, I cannot be there on February the 10th. What the hell? Well, that's too bad. That's that's your chance. We also have the uh, the Tekken 7. Um, uh, I don't think I can drink that, unfortunately, Michelle. Ooh, yeah. Um, but yeah. We also got some, we got them ourselves, but you know, the uh, Union Arena uh, Tekken 7 booster packs. Or we also got like armbands for Tekken 7. But we got like some booster packs, you know, the, the card game thing from Thailand. So we bought those back and giving them out as prices for our tournaments locally. Pretty cool. Yeah. Imagine if Malta had actually a, a bracket. What is that? It's a, it's a card game. Oh, in, okay. in Japanese. <laughs> But, you know, still cool having second, second cards, right? Arigato. Um, so we are just waiting for a uh, a couple of players here. I'm just having a look at the bracket. So, Ooh, Econ Frost right. and Harin. I don't know if any of them have written anything in chat. Oh, they're, right, they're there. Right there. Second game as well. Uh... Kane and Trench's game one is taking a while. Yeah, but so. but they they are playing. They are playing. I think. Okay, so, um, that's good. Uh, I think there aren't any more round one games. Yeah. Uh, they can frost. I think you just mentioned them as well. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, while we wait, uh, I put another match on the you know on on stream so we can see that. But while we wait, let, let's take a look at the bracket. Actually, what's what's happening around here, right? So going all the way up, obviously we've got Kane and Trench uh, needing to uh, go through two players to uh, get on stream. Uh, we've got Jonas Gerlein up against Scriver here. Um, so we're going to have the winner of that against uh, Kane, maybe, if Kane can beat these two on stream. Let's see, we've got, yo, we've got Ratch. Uh, your Takmata beating Trimmer 2-1. That's a huge upset, actually. Huge, huge upset. So maybe Trimmer, Geeseless Trimmer, not as strong, who knows? Ratch beating Ox and Sakmata 2 0, moving on to um, winner's round 4. Not bad, not bad. Trying, looking uh, nice. Yeah. Um, we got yeah. Don Jaeger beating up uh, Kimo there 2 0 against SVD again. This one we just saw. Very interesting here. Seppen still playing. Evil, you know, Damn. winning his first Evil. match, getting a DQ win against Legoshi. That's pretty interesting. What's good, Hamlin? Legoshi yeah. beating King Seamus as well, too. 
Yeah, Evil Lagoshi is definitely a uh, asset which is quite interesting. Um, so tier two defeating uh, Mako. Yeah, unfortunately. Guy, but uh, I wonder if Tierke is sticking to the Zafina. Um, I've seen people say that she is the worst character in the game. Um, so I, I think that's a big stretch, especially day one. Um, yeah, we've got Neon K beating Panda Rosita. Bam. Yo. Oh, what an upset. <laughs> and then uh, against. Oh, Amp Empress beating Valix 2 1. That's nice. Mm. So Neon K uh, against Arter, the winner of that will go up against the Empress. Then I put a Degenerate beating up uh, Masu and uh, Kesmar. Um, let's see if it's going to be uh, Jonetti or Rams Dryden's uh, taking it to meet the Degenerate there. Yeah, I think um, I think some of the new character like pickers they definitely have uh, you know it, it, it's still all about skill but i think new character pickers definitely have like a day one advantage because nobody has time to to lap yet right so you can just out gimmick people if you're good at that <laughs> yeah it'd be not a bad choice to begin with bro yeah Ch chai i don't know why you, why you did that if you know i mean some people they might have uh, you know illegit illegitimately played a little bit you know well, away. No I haven't. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there was definitely the uh, unfortunate yeah. uh, fix. Wait. So, Your camera died, by the way. Yes, I just noticed. I should have rebooted it, but I don't know if uh, it it works. Is it? Is it? Yeah, good? it's good. It's good. It's good. I, um. But yeah, of course. So dumb to try neutral against someone I've never played against. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I mean... think so. But when I don't uh, know the matchup, I just fill up, I just mash and I, I pray. Hello, but at the end, like it, it, you also like you're afraid of what they can can do, so you're kind of bound to respect their offense. Check, uh, check this out on if I can line it up on stream or like right. a cool like. Like these are the cards that you get from the Damn. boosters. Like these are some of the, the rare ones. But the rare Asuka, the, the cool Heihachi. It's pretty nice. And my wants to focus. Yeah, the King Art is really good. There you go. That's like um, cards you can get from, from the packs. Is there, is there Arena? Or is it uh, no, it's, it's Tekken 7. It's Tekken 7. So. Okay. Um, Apparently it's releasing uh, in October for for um, you know in English. So now it's only in Japanese. Also, uh, Kane just uh, won the match too. Nice. Okay, as expected, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, yeah and Jonas as well getting uh, victory over Rebus Kraiba TV 2-0. Yeah. So Jonas is one of the best uh, Danish players. Am I correct? Uh, I guess yeah. especially Raven now. Yeah, I, I don't know what Jonas uh, plays here. He always played a uh, Raven, a uh, Master Raven in, um, yes. in seven, but I don't know why he plays in eight. So again, we we have two matches already. Uh, we got uh, Ken Trench playing Sapphire right now, and we got uh, Jonetti playing um, Ram Striden. They're both playing right now, so I just chose like poorly two matches. It's yeah. It's, oh, playing yeah, Alisa. Wait, Jonas. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's uh, Jonas. Uh, okay. Okay. I do. Uh, I do remember watching them beat Sefi Black uh, at Headstone yeah. Pen last year. That was probably the biggest upset in pools. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I think. Um, I think Alyssa could be very interesting as a character pick um, because she's very cheap always. And uh, not gonna lie, um, again, I'm I'm still coping. I'm probably picking Asuka to begin with and changing maybe to June. Oh, Jakob Kos, yeah, you're thinking of Jakob Kos. Oh, it's Master Raven. Jonas it's and Denmark. Jacob, you know, it's close. People with like the the name in <laughs> in the tag as well. Hey, they they start with J as well. Oh man. Okay, that's on you for choosing a, a similar name. Not my fault, man. Yeah. I actually think Jonas came first though, so. Anyways, Chad, uh, while we're waiting, we actually do have a match arena. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what that is, Rexu. 
Oh, Macherino. Actually, my favorite thing in the world. So, uh, do you see the code there? Spawned by Moobot. Macherino.com slash T slash tech and that. If you click on that and then log in top right, as you see uh, on your screen, you can log in and then claim a code, which is worth 25 cents. And that will go to the prize pool, which will then go to the planes. We keep nothing, Machino keeps nothing, uh, and you spend nothing. That's the best part of it. It's pretty much free money. You are contributing to the community, and maybe one code, one claim is only worth 25 cents. But if we manage to claim all the codes, which there are 50 of them, we manage to get $12.50 plus to the price which is already starting at $50. Very, very generously given by our Lord and Savior, T.O. Aisk. Um, so that means that's already a, that would be a $62 price pool if we get all the codes done, which is really nice. I think that's top three payout. Yeah, with 60, it's, uh, it's top three, yeah. Nice. That's that's nice. I, uh, I count a uh, like, uh, draw count like in the TWT, so it's a win for both. I think I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. I'm pretty sure. I, I would always call and count that as a score for both, right? Like, you both win. Sure. I guess Ratch had a draw. I don't know. Uh, oh, no. So That's it's like it's win for both, game. and if it's the final match, then you replay it in case of a draw. Alright. Do we have a game? In a bit? No, oh, not quite yet. <laughs> uh, okay. We should have it soon. Don't worry, don't worry. We should have it soon. I might put one. No, I'll put up with both, both on stream. Again, it's like the the first, you know, it's it's the first tournament in a while, so we'll see. Oh, looks like Pander is ready, so I'll uh, I'll peace out Ooh. for now. Uh, with, with, see you there. there you go. I'll just so he can set up his, uh, his camera. And uh, I'll, I'm going to stay on comms, obviously, until he joins, which is so you know, he can actually set up there. I'll change into my best Spanish accent, you know, while we uh, while we talk. <laughs> yeah, I can't, man. I, I'm feeling like, damn, I, uh, I'm definitely going to try and join some tournaments. I wonder, has ICFC announced anything yet? I don't think I've seen anything. No, I don't think so. Uh, for uh, for Tekken, at least, or yeah. for any game. Uh, it's like the season finished even for Street Fighter I think so so far there were the finals in the first week of January yeah. and then Radio Silence but I suspect that in February we'll get something because it's generally like or or we actually get nothing because the way that they were talking about it it feels like the, the that ICFC would stop with Tekken 7 so oh. I don't know honestly Yo, look at this cool fella. Damn! Man, it's looking clean. Can I just jump in? Hello? Hello. Hello, fellas. Hello, hello. I am doing my best uh, Tekken 8 customization impression. <laughs> Don't look at my pants, you won't like them. Uh, How's everyone doing? The last time I heard this voice, you were yeah. asking, what's a strive? Yeah, there were there were a little bit less D's present. <laughs> I think I think I'm at the right amount of D's right now. What is what's up, Rexu? Welcome back. Now the three in your name makes sense. Finally. Tekken is three. Yes. Tekken is three. No, Tekken eight is four, bro. Uh, I mean. <laughs> are you how, how are you enjoying being back? Where where uh, it all began? Uh, actually, it's quite good. Um. I thought I'd feel more clueless, but hey, it's... that's all of us, though. <laughs> it's a new <laughs> game. I feel like this is the newest that Tekken has felt since I don't know since I started paying attention. That's for sure. 
yeah, I think... Um, I think it's more... Okay, like with Tekken Tag 2 into Tekken 7, like, there was so many changes, but I still feel that Tekken 7 to Tekken 8 is more overwhelming, at least, yeah. because the changes in, in 7, okay, we had Rage Drive and Rage Art. Rage Art was definitely something that needed to get used to. A lot of people were... Oh, like, yeah. I think a lot of people starting out Tekken 8 like, also uh, mash on Rage Art. VX move? Um, Wait a second. Um, it's the newest Tekken of all time. I mean, it is the newest Tekken of all time. The newest. It's, it's, exactly. well, of all the Tekken games, it's definitely the newest one. <laughs> who 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 have you been playing? I know Reina. I know you used to be a Steve player, but a Reina uh, main like everyone else. I see. No, I think I think I'll I'll try learning a little bit Reina, but I th I still want to keep Steve as my actual main. Uh, yeah, seems really cool in this game. Brian is really fun. Uh, Claudio uh, is stupid. He's yeah. super good. And uh, I tried another character, I think. Oh, no, okay, that's, that, that's my roster, pretty much. So Raynaud and Steve, and maybe <clears throat> if it's needed, uh, Brian or Claudio. That's a, that's a good roster, you know. Like, this is the... Uh, I definitely didn't feel this in 7, but with this game, I don't know if it's because, like, it's first release, so you haven't been seeing it for five years before you get to play it. But uh, but I feel like everyone in this game is cheap. Like, I see any character, like, bro, that, that, like, yo, that's cheap. How, how, has, how does he get away with that? And then you play your own character, and, like, why do I get away with this? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, that's, uh, think... that's pretty refreshing. Like, I don't think there's a wrong choice right now on, on the character select. Yeah, pretty much, honestly. I think, uh, of course, since every single Tekken until Tekken 7 uh, had a couple of years in arcade only. Oh, yeah. So, it, even though the game released, it was still like cooking. And even uh, the funny thing is that when Tekken 7 launched, it was so really really funny like i think the year that tekken 7 came out on consoles uh it was the year that punko made top three i think at evil no that was that was before so so tekken tekken 7 was funny it had like two or two whole arcade releases before the console release so in the first arcade release that's when they put akuma in the game oh the second one i can't release oh. i'm sorry so 2016 would i okay. think it was 2016. yes but yeah, eight. he just made he just made like top top eight at least. I don't remember if it's top I, three or not, but he just I made top looks, top whatever with uh, with Akuma, because Akuma is like, even more broken. The the thing is like that was a Street Fighter player. He yeah. played a little bit of Akuma, realized that he plays quite similar to Street Fighter, and just went ham. I I think he he finished like top three, top four. I'm almost definitely sure. like very high placing. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Think about how different the landscape is. Like I was thinking of that, and I was thinking like with Tekken 8, everyone is coming from every game. Like. Yep. It's... Even here. <laughs> I think it, it's really interesting to see the hype around Tekken 8 compared to to Tekken 7, and compared to yeah. also other games releasing uh, like since the last two years like um i think the hype around tekken 8 is comparable if not bigger than the hype for street fighter um because i think marketing has been done so well for this game marketing oh, yeah. was ex exceptional like with uh, all the character trailers releasing bit by bit with all the tekken talk information uh, like segments at, at offline events as well which make them really fun to watch instead of just like um five page documents with, yeah. with stuff um i think uh bandana could really have gotten a very good grasp of how to market this game and a lot of people are very very interested in this it could be the biggest fighting game release in recent memory because i do feel that it has the potential to overcome street fighter 
I do hope so. But uh, yeah, I was, I was uh, as you were saying that uh, about the marketing thing. I was remembering a video I saw today. Shoutouts to Kyle Bosman. I know Ace also likes Kyle Bosman. He's like a game journalist guy, and he made a video since uh, both like a dragon and Tekken came out, and they're both like the eighth part of the series. Oh. And the point of the video was, it's really hard to sell an eight, you know, because you have to sell it to to people that have played the seven before or more than that, but you know, the seven numbered ones. But you also have to sell it to new people. And I think Tekken 8 has definitely hit out the park with both, like all the Reina memes, you know, all the new characters were cooking, the old characters, they all got glow ups. I don't think there's a single one that that became a loser from the previous games. Like not a single one character, not a single one character I would say is worse than they've ever been. Which is also similar to Street Fighter. I, I do believe Street Fighter 6 has the best version of every character that's in the game. In the whole series. Because uh, you got developers that know what they're doing and you get companies that know how to sell and make a game. So I think that's a good very, very good assessment, honestly. Like um, as you said, like it's been marketed to People have been playing Tekken since they were born, practically, and people who haven't touched a single Tekken. Even since even the Eddie main since Tekken three got got their got their food with the first DLC. <laughs> everyone is pleased. Literally everyone. Uh, and the game looks so good. Like uh, I booted up practice mode for the first time today. Um, I th no, no, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And like it's it's stunning. I think this is the best best looking like uh fighting game ever and it's not even close street fighter yeah. was wow this looks really good but it, it honestly pales in comparison to, to the k8 it's, it's insane it's also like different different art styles but i think they really they really found like a nice balance of uh trying to look realistic but not really like i think a lot of games have been trying to go for that and some of them like they make them better some of them make them worse like i'm thinking comparing it to like final fantasy games usually like they try that they try to like look realistic by also kind of anime but even those games they also have some fumbles like usually on the secondary characters department not, not even this game has that like this game everything looks good you play the story, everything looks good. The, the goons in the story mode, they all look good. Yeah, they, still, they cook. I still have to play story, so please, no spoilers. Um, no, no spoilers. But yeah, it's, it looks very good. I hope that we can also get to look at the game. Um, both players have... Yeah, the, and, and of course, we, we, we will not say the game is uh, flawless because you know, you know what happened when the tournament started, but... You know, I hope that doesn't happen now, and uh, we're gonna get a game. Oh, we're gonna get two characters that I think people are gonna be talking about. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh my god, what is that custom? Okay, oh, they're all back, all right. Look at the Susanna custom as well. Oh, she, has, she has that funny hat. <laughs> she has that throw hat for some reason. <laughs> Huge life oh, okay. for Degenerate. Perfect! Okay, All thanks right. off. Yeah, Degenerate, uh, former Eliza player, I believe. I so now so those, else. they've been playing Tekken, but they have to make a move to new characters. And uh, I think this is this is a good choice. A lot of people are moving to Reyna, but they wouldn't count out as Susanna. Susanna seems really good. And it's also really fun to play. And also not very known. So uh, a good good decision from yeah. the degenerate. Coming to another one. For my sexy. Trying to get something going. But Degen! Oh my god, the running 3-2. Sexy. What? The move of the game. The move of the closed oh. network test for oh. sure. Jesus Christ. Damage. Good break on the grab. That's too oh. far, no whip finish. Oh, yeah, try to armor and got grabbed. You cannot break grabs on, on armor. Oh, hit oh. smash! Break the grab. Break the grab now. Oh, oh no. instant seat smash. Alright.
Her I swear, I swear, her heat smash is a DP. You cannot well, rest into it. <laughs> yeah. You have to be careful. I think she might have one of... Uh, I don't know if I would say the best, but probably one of my favorite hits. The dash she gets. It might be uh, my, my favorite one. And the hit smash, of course, is also like really, really good. And I think uh, once also people start getting accustomed to how to play into stance, yeah. I think Azucena is going to be a massive problem. Get ready for the Not that she isn't she already. Is, yeah, she is like... Uh, I would say like five characters apart from my character list. But, uh, I did play her in the network test and I had, what, I had fun with my time. Okay, we're going to the Stratos now, now this stage this stage is fun. I like I like what they did with this stage. This stage is pure Tekken. Yeah, I until, it, until it becomes pure DOA. <laughs> <laughs> All the lows punish on the third there one. Go. Oh my god. And this is one of, I think, the things that I dislike about Tekken Ada. You almost have the kill and you have the guaranteed um, heat engager, which is armor. So, yeah, it can't kill. I, I honestly well, I wouldn't, you... make it. I wouldn't make it kill. Yeah, you save it. Uh... You save it for the whole round, and, uh, yep. and you save it for that. I think we're gonna we're gonna see develop how how people are gonna be using heat and what's gonna be the most optimal use. That's also interesting because for now people are just like trying to do whatever. Yeah, I think, I think we are gonna find like an optimal use. Oh! Interrupt that! Oh, oh there you go. That's a DP. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, now we become oh. DOA danger zone. Let's go. More spikes will yeah. uh, get relaunched. In your zone. <laughs> this is literally the DOA mechanic. I wonder if floor break throws from uh, Tekken 7 like get you the effect. Nice up or two. I think I think Damn. it behaves the same as what uh, floor break would get. I'm not actually sure. I haven't really been practicing a lot. Ooh, nice dog. It's a punishes on one splat. Didn't expect it. Running two. There's the heat engage. A big whip. Oh. No punish. No back turn. No conversion on that. Day two. Oppress. That's not gonna hit. There you go. But Jesus, nice punish with the heat smash. And uh, Janetti, very much still in this. Down two. Oh, that's one of the degenerate, degenerate swings that Dragunov has. One of the many. <laughs> so two, no dice again with the running okay. three, two. Massive <laughs> damage. Ooh, ooh size nice. Two. Plus two. Uh oh. And it's also small. not gonna hit. There you go. They're trying, they're testing it out. But Dijen is gonna be taking it. Yo, yeah. tiene que promocionar su marca, bro. And yeah, that custom looks so, so dope. And Degenerate will move on yeah. in the bracket. Just very, like that. Yes, very good showing. Um. So we'll see now if there is anyone in the bracket able to stop them. They may be facing off against Neon K if Neon K manages to uh, defeat Empress, Empress, as we saw on uh, uh, Reina. Uh, Evil beating Lagoshi 2 0. Lakomi and Tierki fighting off against each other. That's also a very interesting uh, game. Um, Don Jaeger. Making it over Seberg. Fighting is the winner of Yaskarnet and Lil Fury. Raj still waiting for his opponent between Frozen Amber and Deacon Frost. So it's Frozen and Frost. Damn, okay. Damn. So, uh, Frozen Frost? <laughs> and. Frozen Amber. We have our next. Um, he's been waiting for. Oh, there you go. We just know the results. Frozen Amber is going to be the opponent for Raj. And uh, oh, I see Kane and Trench there facing up against Doctor Sapphire. We're also waiting for that. Yes. So uh, yeah, Neon K, Neon K Emperor. That should be a good match. I, I got, I got, I got absolutely smoked by Neon K. Ooh. Uh, who, who are they playing? 
uh, playing Lily, okay. and uh, I didn't take a single round. <laughs> Lily, Lily is also a character that I would say it's a bit of a worry, but you know, Damn. a lot of people, I, I, a lot of people aren't talking about Lily, but I think a lot of people aren't talking about a lot of the characters because there's 32 characters in the game. And I think they could they could all have the situation of hey you should you should be careful about that guy, like uh, I would say the only character I've been like underestimating maybe is Asuka, and uh, I just got eliminated from the tournament by an Asuka, so <laughs> shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, I guess but, uh, uh, it's it's way too early to be yeah. doing. But... I've even I've even been finding myself playing bears, and I it's, I also think bears. They're more fun to play than they've ever been, and I think they're pretty much like way better than they've ever been. Like they're actually good now. Yeah, I think uh, they received some uh, changes. They received like, some love, let's say. Yeah, uh, rank two definitely put them on yeah, the map. I appreciate uh, that. Panda, really? Yeah, and then Panda gets like a really cute outfit, and then she's really good. They have... I was like catching myself, like, wait a second, am I a bear player? <laughs> but uh, I didn't, I didn't fall yet, but I might. They have also have like finally see. Kuma and Panda have different uh, oh, moves. Yeah. Otherwise, they were kind of like uh, clones, but now yep. they're a little bit different. And yeah, as as I was saying, the bee, I think the bee is Panda, right? Yeah. I think I think Anakin played it. Uh, Red Bull yeah, Bull yeah, the Bumblebee. Yeah, he was he was cooking with Panda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, okay. later. Even even Jack looks so strong in this yeah. game. And oh yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely the best the best Jack there's ever been in Tekken. I remember he he, he like took some moves from from Gigas, you know. Yes. He wasn't using them anyway, so <laughs> might as well. Um, I remember playing the the first build, the Alpha, uh, yeah. that mix up of last year with with Evil, and um, like Evil pausing every every minute to, to <laughs> check the chip damage of Jack because it yeah. was ridiculous. Like I think he couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> fully charged back to did like ten percent chip on block. Yeah, <laughs> I don't Have know you... if it's the same, but. Have you seen the fully charged bear attack though? <laughs> no, actually. Well, that's uh, I I don't know the definitely more than ten percent. Like, try twenty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> messed up. Yeah, I think chip damage needs to be revised in this game though. I don't, I think that's it's a new thing. That's also another thing we going back to the global release thing. That's also another thing we forget. Like. If you look at, uh, you know, Tekken 7 is the most recent one, but uh, if you look at any Tekken game, the first version is all, is like junk. Like, there's, yeah. let's, not, let's not miss words here. Like, it's... We, I think, I feel like we've said that with uh, with the games that have been coming out the last few years. Like, uh, like oh, this is the best first version of uh, X game. Like, with Lumina, for example, with SF6, with uh, even with Strife, probably. Yeah, like uh, like yo, know, this is the the best first version that's ever been. Like, yeah, Tekken has always had like really bad first versions. So this is like really good already. But I'm sure like things like the chip damage, some moves like are really really plus. Like uh, there's there's things that are big going away in like a year. But you know, take take advantage of it while it lasts. Just just enjoy your time, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, like, um, uh, I I feel like this is gonna be a really long running game, so just uh, get get comfy, you know. It's definitely going to be a long ride. I mean, seeing Tekken Seven uh, has been with us since 2015, so that's yeah. nine years. So I think the next Tekken will be in the 2030s for sure. Um, damn, the date is the date is, the time is 2024. Um, uh, but. Yeah, it is time finally oh, for our up. next match. And Alisa and is... Yoshi, though. Yeah, it's going to be probably the favorite to win the brackets. Uh, Kane and Trench on the Yoshimitsu against uh, the Alisa. Kane and Trench playing for the PS5. There you go. It's a crossplay tournament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yo, he's cooking. I haven't actually seen like a Yoshi game thing. I'm looking forward to this. 
second. The last hit is uh, plus, so you, I think it's high and plus, so you need to duck it. Okay, Kincho stuns. Doesn't commit ah. the uh, ender here. Oh! Oh. Another... Both characters that they, they, they really did well with. I remember... Mm. Oh. There you go. Spinning kicks. I remember the TWT finals last year. I saw Kane and Trent and I told him, hey, I wish, I hope, uh, I hope Yoshimitsu doesn't look like a squid in Tekken 8. And he's like, yeah, I hope so too. And there you go. They, they really did well with the design. He does not look like a squid. He looks insane. Oh, the health oh. regeneration. It's smash. Jesus Christ. Dash oh, is dead. dead. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Has been able to, uh, yeah, we haven't really been able to see Alisa here, but uh... oh, big whiff, small punish from Kane and Trench. Oh, I, I wonder if Kane and Trench will, will try to go more party mode with this Yoshimitsu. Yeah, maybe. Oh, what the punish! Beautiful uh, stuff here. Uh, Kane and Trench, uh, look at those combos the though. Are you dead? I think it's dead. Jesus Christ. God dang. Oh, Smash to end the game there. Look at that stuff. All right. Looks god like. Um, that was really smart as well from from Kane and Trent using the heat smash to first of all enter heat and second of all get a combo extension. Use that. Uh, wait, no. Use the heat engager, and then went for the heat smash. Yeah. To get uh, as much. As I said, as I, I feel like. Uh... People are gonna be adapting to that. Like, are you gonna save heat uh, for like a big combo? Or are you gonna save it for the end of the round to get that heat engager as we as we battle. talked before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good frame moves. But uh, yeah, that's a really good combo usage. Good usage of that heat mechanic. I will see the second in here. We're going to the way bigger stage here now. Oh, there you go. Combo. There you go. That move is called Heartbeat Disabled, by the way. That, I, th I feel like that's a cold name. Heartbeat? Heartbeat Disabled, bro. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that low. That's from so far out, okay. Oh, that's Soul Calibur move. They gave him Soul Calibur 6 move. And I'm so glad. Punish? No, goes for the flash! Big Punish. whiff! There you go, big whiff. Ooh. Nope, punish on that. No, that's not that, that minor. Oh, that's a float. No, small. Follow up, back four. I think that's my kill. Yeah. There you go. Guaranteed after that counter hit, back four four. Fight. Oh, that's the latest Delay, string. But not gonna, not gonna catch on. Oh my god, door knocker. No break oh, on the rainbow. drop. Again, with the sword spin. What the hell do you call that? One one, no punish. Oh! oh. <laughs> no chainsaws. chainsaws. There you go. He's a ninja. He he ain't about to get chainsaw. One all around. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Pretty unfortunate. Flea stance. Who the train? Whoa! Nice trade from Kane and Trench here. Oh, hold that. Oh, that's a guard break. That's probably oh. guaranteed. Ah. Damn! Yeah, damn. Set point for Kane and Trench. It's like that. The spacing of Kane and Trench is so good as well. The keep out game is uh, really making it difficult for uh, for Jonas to get in. In rage, have to be careful. There's a spin again. Oh, block on the half kick. Four, back three. Back three. So into the heat. Let's see. Train on all the stops. One. Low. Oh, oh no, I guess the spike. Down from there. Oh, finish. Oh. All right. Second coolest range art in the game. I think. Yeah,
Jesus. Damn. Why she need all that blood for though? That's my question. Uh, Is that just water? Alright, just like that, Kane and Trench. 2 0. That was really exciting. I, I, I like Yoshimitsu in this game. He's. They've done. I feel they've like I'm not smart enough well. for <laughs> Yoshimitsu, but I would play him if I was. I did play. Uh, like, my first year in Tekken 7 was Yoshimitsu. Uh, yeah. I. I considered, like, picking, picking him up. Picking him up again. Uh, but. I. It's either like him or, or Reina, but I think Yoshi is much more uh, big brain, so... He definitely requires like dedication to the cause, you can't you can just be you can't just be throwing out Yoshimitsu as a sub, you know? Yeah. He's not, he's not one of those. But uh, yeah, Kane and Trench, for people that don't know, like, they might they might know the name, like, uh, like uh, probably the most popular like Yoshimitsu player in Europe. But he is, does not fit the description of um, of a Yoshi player. Like he's really, really fundamentally solid, as you just saw. Yeah, I mean, like he's, so not go, he's not gonna be going party mode all the time, but he knows just when to do it. It's uh, pretty much like the uh, Kane and Trench and I musicians are two different sides of the coin. Yeah. It's it's insane how different they are with the same character. And really curious to uh, to see what they can make of, of Yoshimitsu. Both players are already cooking. And let's see if, uh, if Ken Chanch can win this bracket tonight. As I do see a character that could definitely be a, uh, a threat in the bracket, Victor. Yeah. They're going to be uh, from Lil Fury, going to be facing off against Don Yeager. Don so. Yeager with that Nina. Another character people were kind of dooming about, but uh, feel like Nina, Nina is still Nina. And uh, Nina is someone to be careful with. I think she is. Uh... She has guns, bro. You're gonna <laughs> downplay her and you're gonna get shot. <laughs> Damn, so that means that. Um, this week, oh, yeah, it's like that much. <laughs> this week, two fighting games launched, and both fighting games have a woman with two guns. Yo, that's uh, definitely weird. Uh, this is this is gonna be like some John Wick fight, though. They both have guns. <laughs> Happy Chaos Murders. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> Ever since Happy Chaos launched, we've had so many guns in fighting games. Happy Chaos oh, was a mistake. Cool, bro. Going oh shit! Uh, you know what's like cooler than fists in a in a close quarters game? Gun. Yeah. The guy just pulling out a gun. And that custom looks what like Katarina. Yeah. I can see it. You know you could take the whole code off like that. It looks cool. It does. I think a lot of uh, like customization options, like use the actual outfit with yeah, with a little variation. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Those, those are really cool. Yeah, like Reina has a sleeveless hoodie and uh, with the hood on. Yeah, I like the I like the hood on one. Huge punish from Lil Fury though. I think the launch over the uh, down back three plus four. Offense off from Tony Yeager. To get something going. Oh, oh the, the llama popping up in the background. <laughs> I want to see a oh, llama booted it to infinity. Oh! That move is really slow, but I think it tracks both ways. Oh! No break. Ew. And that's death. Both in game. Oh, damn. Literally, speak up. Yeah. Okay, I did not know. From cheap character to cheap character, yeah. I like how this man thinks. And he that. should also know anything that there is to know about uh, about Nina, because Pika is a former Nina player himself. So now again, a light deficit for Don Yeager to work on it. Oh damn, the All tracking! Right. Nice try. Ooh, again. Okay, oh. I'm stepping that. Maybe sidewalk. 
But that doesn't look like a move you sidestep. Right, final, final potential round here. No stats. I don't know anything about Victor, so this is gonna be a learning experience. Just call, call oh, it back. Nice See, no panic. Okay, can he go all the way to the corner? Wall even. No okay. break yet. Low. Okay. Heat has expired for a peak oh, oh, against oh, the launch. Launched. Keep it dead. This is wall. Yeah, no, no. okay. That's really close though. He's still available for Don Jaeger though. Oh, oh not anymore. God. What is that? You win. We are the only ones who can control the equilibrium of the power of this world. Victor is. Alright. So, Victor is very conflicting for me. Um, his, his design is sick. His kit is sick, but the combination of them mm, makes me sick. Honestly, you know, I really... You know, you know what I thought when I saw the trailer? And I still think it, and I still haven't seen it? I you... thought, I saw that sword, I saw the, those moves, and I thought, man, the, the Raiden mods are gonna go insane. But oh. I still haven't seen it. He has the, I mean... he has the same sword, like the, <laughs> the high frequency sword. He's so close, and he's just an old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he, he moves like Raiden but looks like Solid Snake, bro. How come? He does. Round one. Right. So it's a game two. Have we uh, changed something if we're done oh, here? This is Damn. stage four, two gun users. Yes. Middle of the battlefield. I mean, it is now, this, stage is a, where... this is a John Wick fight. Final scene of John Wick fight, let's go. Nina was shown on this on the stage as well, so uh, yeah. let's see if Don Yeager can do it justice. What was that? Is that a parry? Okay, I think it's some sort of reversal. Uh, yeah, we, had, uh, we had Wim play Victor and he was explaining some things. But still, it's like really unique and new characters that you have to... You have to uh, like learn. And get used to it. Look, look at the look at the weapons that the fan has. He has the combat knife. He has yeah. the dagger. He has the big sword. He has the gun. And he also has rage. Eight seconds on the clock. He spent Don Jaeger in the okay. life deficit. Don Jaeger realizing. Oh, oh, oh! He didn't have time. Yo, he was so close though. Damn. I thought that the big counter had actually caused Don Jaeger to round. Was Don Jaeger actually getting the win? Yeah. He got counter hit launcher, but uh, the combo couldn't come out in time. Oh, oh hidden gauger. Oh, I'll see. They have to load the knife. Get oh, the full. Cool follow up. Oh, yeah, see him with the whole sword like that? Alright. Nice punish from Don Jaeger. Again with the punish! No abusing. Of the moves. Two rounds straight for Don Yeager. Try to go for a round start down forward too, I respect it. Oh my god. Now look at the image of that thing. Oh. <laughs> what is this game? Nice trade. Oh, that's. That move is good. Oh! oh he's gonna be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Damn. Yeah, just shrug. And, uh, move on. All right, Don Yeager bringing it back. That makes it a one-one. Have we had two? Have we had final game yet? I think all games on stream. Have uh, been I think this is the first one we've had. Yeah. And this is the first game that Peak has dropped in the whole bracket. So that's yeah. really interesting. About time. And uh, that was that was a really close one though. Yeah. Like uh, this this Nina is cooking something. Get ready for the next yeah, and, the, and the first game was also the first game that Don Yeager dropped in the bracket. So yeah. very, very evenly matched players.
As this is. Oh, I love this page. This I is one of the best part. pages in the game. I love this music. Everyone is hating on this music. I fucking love. It. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, the final round. I don't know what you need to do to make the portrait drop. I probably hit the wall. I don't know. Because the portrait is, is in a part where you can't get. I think. I haven't really tried breaking this. this, this wall. I don't know. I <laughs> tried. I saw the balcony on the on the trailer and and I was playing a game and I thought, hey, can you can you balcony break? And, and you can yep. only. Yes. Pressure here from Pika as a big, big life lead. Don Jaeger though trying to get it back. Jaeger. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh. Yeah, the move really linear, but uh, really good. It's really fast as well. So yeah, uh, really fast, really long, but. Probably really linear, but no side stepping from Don Yeager. Is that a health sweep full combo? Damn, Nina cooks. Damn, Nina cooks. Every, everyone cooks in this game, I'm telling you. Like I haven't seen a character that I thought that was a loser. And when I thought that, then they proved me wrong in like 5 seconds. Nina pressure, that is fine. Nice, Don Yeager, top forward one. We can eat. One game apiece, one round apiece. Two more rounds to uh, head into winner's side top eight. Oh, Don Jaeger positioning for a wall break here. Let's see if he's gonna get it. Ooh. Back one whips. Heat engager. Goes for a grab, good break. No, Another break one. Again. Break. Is that the Master Raven throw? Undertaker. Yeah, a little Ooh. bit. They changed the animation, but I think it's the same idea. Spanish! Oh, one pass to break. Would have been extra damage with the wall now. Pika in rage. Yeah, could have been killed on the wall. Oh! There you go, it's gonna be killed by. by there you go, by pokes. One more round. No, no, listen, listen to this shit. How, how can you hate on this music? Bro? Cheers. This goes so hard. It feels like time is running out. Oh, get yeah. the launch there. Up forward one. Yeah, look at this. Don Jaeger is in a hurry, bro. We got places to beat. Top 8 is waiting. We're running a bracket over here. Dino's oh. also running that wall running move. Oh, but the counter hit. Oh, the counter. No combo, though. He fumbled. Because in rage, look at how much HP he can recover. He yeah. smash. A lot of oh. chip damage there. A lot of chip life. But no heat. He's just slowly recovering it. Shots, the heat smash. Oh, and there you no, go. In the process. Wait, if you use the heat smash, do you use the recoverable life? I'm not sure. Over. I think, I think you around. do. The, I think heat smash is one of the moves that takes it away. Oh, uh, okay. Wall carry, not a problem. Big life lead for a pickup and shots. Oh, okay. nice interrupt. Again, very linear. Just like, uh, just like Noctis, will this character really shoot people off? Oh. oh! One more touch might be enough! Oh my god, the stagger block! No. Not a launch punish! No heat! It's on! Engager. That's oh. chance here! Oh. oh, there you go! And Pico oh, is just boom. a little bit faster. Solid snake! Makes it into top go. eight. Solid ride and making it into top eight, just like that. Damn. I, I, I think I love this game. This game is quite alright. It's, it's definitely funny. Uh, a very it's good a funny game, like. Cartoon, but uh, I'm the good cartoon. Yeah, it's. It's a funny game. Uh, could be funnier, but I think it's it's in a good state. And yeah, definitely with... have like uh, things to improve if they want to go that way. That's for sure. But uh, but first step, as we mentioned before, definitely the best first version I remember seeing from Tekken. But uh, we'll see. Maybe two weeks from now we'll find out something that will make it seem not so good. 
I still haven't seen it, so... For now, let's enjoy the ride. Yeah. Uh, plus, it's been a like, really good race so far. It's, uh, like... Uh, Tekken World Tour begins in... I, I actually like... I really, really like this, this launch window. This is actually perfect, because... Um... I don't know. I don't know if a patch is planned, but the, the Tekken World Tour begins in the last week of April, which is three months from now. Yeah, it's basically like Evo Japan is literally in today, three three week, three months, excuse me, because it's twenty seventh of April. So that is so much time for uh, for data for information to come in. I don't know if uh, like <clears throat> they intend to release a patch, maybe the beginning of March to adjust some things because some characters are definitely overtuned or like all of them are overtuned. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go with this into and then like patch it right after Evo Japan or you want to patch it before that so that even the start is um, how do you call it like okay basically. The interesting thing is that uh, with other games there might be a precedent as to how that works. In Tekken's case, they've kind of tried everything with Tekken 7. So, like they tried year yearly update, they tried like doing a little bit more frequently, they tried explaining what they changed, they're not explaining what they changed. So, uh, yeah. we'll, we're just gonna have to <laughs> wait and see, I'm pretty sure. Since uh, Eddie is coming out in spring as well, that uh, there might be like a small update, uh, yeah. like probably slightly before Evo Japan or immediately after. Yeah. I am but really... nothing. I wouldn't expect anything major, <laughs> unless like some game-breaking mm -hmm. stuff. But I, I definitely haven't seen like game-breaking things. Just, just characters being good, you know. Yeah, I think. Uh, I'll I'll not take a stance yet. Uh, it's it could be both ways, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see. The game is so really really fun, and with the huge player base, I think that it will get for the coming weeks at least. Uh, like information is going to be really good to see what characters are maybe in need of changes and maybe not. Oh yeah. Definitely looking forward to it. So I realize that I'm definitely uh, very strife pilled because when you said Eddie, I was thinking <laughs> of Zato, and I'm like, hey, Eddie, a Tekken? And then I realized, yeah, Eddie. oh, Eddie. <laughs> I think I'm probably make a custom. <laughs> like, I swear, my thought process went from Zato to Street Fighter Ed, and then <laughs> Tekken Eddie. I'm, I'm so ashamed of myself. It's okay. It's okay. You've been you've been in two D lands for a few years now, so makes sense. Damn, Rach has taken Kane and Trench to a final final round. Damn, Jesus. kid is cooking. Yeah, no, he's he's uh he's improving for sure. He's uh also when when I was mentioning like people coming from every game I wanted to I wanted to call him like an extra legend because I know he's gonna love it when he hears that but uh, he's he's been he's been grinding he's been improving he plays Feng so not that's enough on the compliments you know but uh, but uh, he's showing some promise you know and he's DMing me right now but I'm gonna leave him on lead. Oh June yo okay. No, okay, Fujiwara. <laughs> My guy, he's just a waifu player, for real, for real. I see the, I see the, the Azucena, and he was playing Lily before, and I was playing Jun. I see. I respect that. Jun in this, I think, honestly speaking, like Jun might be that busted character. I mean, if if you ask me, when I was, uh, I was talking to Ace before, like, uh, like. We were talking about who who's like busted and things like that, and we were talking, of course, about Dragunov, like everyone else, right? But I said, like, yeah, Dragunov, Dragunov is like, of course, is over too. But uh, take a look at Bears and take a look at Jun. <laughs> yeah, Jun. I mean, 
She's got probably the best wall damage in the game, or at least in in the beta she had. I don't know if that has been changed. Nice punish! Damn, nothing been changed. She oh, has. The thing is, she has. Um, I'll say it. She has a mechanic that's also taken like many good mechanics in fighting. It is taken from a little little known game uh, as a killer instinct. Which is, she can sacrifice her own like life bar for some special attacks that have really really good properties. And the thing is, that that sacrifice is really really small. Yep, and in heat she gets the life back. So, so yeah, big. she gets really crazy moves for almost no risk. Like that one for example. Teacher is dead. And her life bar is recovered in the same combo. But she gets access to some moves that should be like unthinkable. Like. I don't know if you've seen the the uh, the crouching 10 frame punish she has. That I... takes a whole lot of chip from her, but takes a short a shit ton of damage from the opponent as 10 frames. Yeah, I think uh, like I think I saw a clip from Fergus like with a wall combo with that 10 frame punish. It's yeah. it's insane. And uh, you know she has really good moves that. Uh, that shouldn't be shouldn't be done, but I feel like she's gonna be over tuned. She's gonna be uh, tuned real soon, so enjoy it when it lasts, you know. But yeah, I would say keep an eye on Bears, keep an eye on June, and Get keep an eye on Devil Jin. Those, those would be my three if I have if I had to pick like uh, characters that are gonna get the hammer. Yeah. But you know, yeah. Round one. Yeah. I'm unknown is not there. Imagine if they. Release her DLC. Well, right? to be yeah. fair, this June is more like if you compare it to Tekken Tag 2, which is the last time we saw June, this June is more unknown than June with yes. the moves she has. Yeah, I think so too. So but... I would I would take a costume or like a. Just call I mean, her or something. <laughs> pressure. Oh, what nice heat engager here from uh, Degenerate. Oh, the top once again. Okay, under pressure, one more touch. Oh, there you go. Finally, the generator on the board. That yeah. first game was pretty much all Neo K. Whoa. Where are you going? This is the. I think this is the launch trailer stage. Yeah. Godlike. Yeah. Imagine me watching. Uh, the PlayStation uh, show <laughs> and seeing Tekken 8 and I'm like, oh my god! Yeah. Wait, okay. Oh. I don't know if they were just standing there. No, okay, they're blocking. Chip damage, heat engager. Oh, and no. low. Round three. Degenerate, one more round to level things up. Nice with punish after the sidestep. Jesus Christ, that's already 50% off of that HP bar. Oh Damn. boy. Damn! You can't stop it. Look at you! Damn! Yeah, damn, he's, al he's almost dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, combo. The okay, wall is a okay. uh, problem there. That's the punish I was talking about. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Off okay. of a 10 frame, by the way. Uh, Off a 10 she... frame in while, in while crouching. Both she characters don't even get 10 frame moves while first. They get a dick job, if anything. Pressure from Tony. Nice break! Okay, though, once again, finding oh, the launch. Uh, uh, no. Go no for the finisher there. Can can! Oh, can can can. Oh. Pressure. Oh, Damn. Ah. Uh, nice block on the low. Generator is still in danger. In range though, so can't turn this around with one launch. But they have it in them. Okay, gets a count in. Both players now in range. There you go. Go for something. We are on final round set point for the okay. Can you change the color of the bird? Because. If I'm not, not sure you should be able to, but I have all, I've always seen the people with the same bird, so maybe not. 
me. If, if she has a crow, it doesn't make sense. Because yeah. crows are like, associated with death. Well, that's just a tough. Oh, you know. okay. <laughs> no. Interesting throw. Oh, nice dog! Gets the launch as well! I don't think that's dead though! It is dead. Yeah, yeah that, crow was, that crow was right on the money. Degenerate damage. And, and degenerate. Uh, now she's dancing. We'll uh, take Neon K to a final game. Game number three on the cards. All right, we're gonna get a final game. I don't think we're gonna... We might see a character switch from Neon K, because we see the character on the screen. That's uh, Azucena, that's the highest rank character. I played yes. him with uh, Lily, and we played June before. So who's to say that he doesn't have like another character or one of those three? Because we'll have to wait and see. Battle. Oh, sticking up with the June. Going for that secluded training ground. The new stage that's uh, very familiar, but still new. Oh, it's just the birds are in the intro and then the bird stays. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay. Good start here for a new okay, but there's the uh, heat. Heat engage it. Slapping June against the wall. Good damage applied. Off the chip, actually. Oh, that's okay. down forward for the so chip. One of the many moves. Oh, are you dead? All right. No, no, not quite yet. There you go. Let it rip. Round two. Yep. Stop that right. Now, okay. Big whiff. Finish it off. Big whiff. No punish. I think that's the no. four two. Damage. Look at the chip. That's three moves. On the grab, we want combo. We wake up oh, four though. About to take the run, not thrown out broken. Man, I was I was noticing why does why does degenerate have a fucking mo motion input on his on his title? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. It's running three two, of course they would. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Block, and frame punish. Oh grabs. There you go to grab. Oh, you can make it safe by sacrificing a little bit of HP, but she doesn't have a lot to sacrifice. There you go, recovers a little bit with that throw. More touch. Recovers a little bit more. What if she damage down? Recover the HP. Yeah. One more touch. Oh. Touch it in. There you go. Chop. Taking the okay. And it's set point for the British player. Damn. Strings. Can I can't. Running 3-2. Another one. Not technically a string, by the way. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> I don't uh, know she's... do that. Yeah, Ooh, nice stuff. Oh, thrown out broken. One touch. He oh. has a lot of stances, like, like Jin. But, uh, more integrated into string. Running 3-2. She's a, she's a pretty interesting right. character. I'm glad she's back. Final oh. game, final round. Oh, Ooh. no, throw not broken again. Throws are not being broken. What? Why do I have neon lights where, run, with their limbs? That's really interesting. No, that's a trail, that's a customization option. I guess they both have it. Are you dead? You're dead! Oh, oh just like that. And Neon K goes to loser. Uh, Degenerate. Right, Degen taking it. it in top eight. Uh, they should be facing off against Lakomi. I guess Lakomi is uh, still playing Law, since Law is in this game. I think Law is quite strong as well. Definitely. Oh, too old evil. Damn. Definitely very good at Tekken Ball. Uh, <laughs> so if you, if you need some Tekken Ball techs, uh, definitely pick Law and mash nunchucks. Um, and then the other uh, game for top eight on our side is going to be Kane and Trench against Pika. All right. Uh, Damn, that's something to look forward to, that's for sure. It's shaping up to be pretty strong to paint. Yeah. 
Brockus. Let me see um, how the Lucid Brock is looking over here. I'd say maybe Neonkei uh, being upset by Degenerate. Yeah. Mm, but I would say I would say I was an upset for sure. Yeah. Winners, uh, uh, the, the second winners, winners the second winner semis is uh, could have been evil against Neonkei, and both players might face off in losers actually yeah. for. And, and lose us round one of, of top eight, so that's actually a little bit cursed. But let's see. Of course, props to, to the winners, uh, Lakomi and, and Degenerate. We're just waiting on our next match on stream. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be uh, Kane and Trench and Pika. I would think so. Let me also giving a little bit of a break to uh, okay. degenerate. So in terms of bracket, we still have uh, Ratch, Don Jaeger, Evil, and Neon K, of course, and losers. And Jonetti. Jonetti is Finnish, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I think so. Max still in the bracket. That's quite cool. Um, I think Masu has been uh, in a couple of salties before. The name is yeah, that name not new. sounds familiar. But I don't remember. I want to say Jin, but I'm not sure actually. Mm. I have Alex. Moldova representative in IESF, by the way. Moldova? Yeah. He went there last year for Tekken 7. And uh, might go again for this year for Tekken 8. We'll, we'll see. Yes. Watch me get into IESF for Malta. <laughs> Leon Malta? Nah, Leon Knight is gonna get Eddie, bro. It's so over for you. Nah! <laughs> You have I... you have three months. Enjoy it. <laughs> three months. Three months without any. Enjoy it. Uh, realistically speaking, though, I think uh, the candidate has to be chosen before me. So oh, okay. that's quite huge. If it's actually if it's actually it. All right. I haven't really seen anything about the uh, ISF this year. But uh, I'm imagining an Eddie powered by DLC power up, and I oh, I don't know if I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Just but I do like Eddie. Eddie, so you know, I might take him for a spin myself. Uh, I never really liked Eddie, but after following uh, like Leonidas for pretty much like two years now, uh, yeah, I, I've kind of grown fond of him, so I'm happy yeah. he's back. That's because he's bad in seven. Just wait until he's good. <laughs> <laughs> you will not, you will not be fond of him. Let me, let me tell you. I, I still remember watching <laughs> uh, so many tournaments in Tank Two with double KPO yeah. teams. Yeah. Gone. Any any time I boot up, any time I boot up tag two, uh, I always I always uh, like pick Christy at least once. Like I I just need to remember. <laughs> oh I just need to do back one four and remember. That's all. Christ like uh, Christy stands. You know that's all. You 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 don't need to like you don't need to like dwell on it, but you know just remind yourself. But uh, we'll see. Okay, we're still waiting for Sipika on the um, on the lobby already. But uh, we are waiting for Cannon Trench. Victor. Victor. Solid Raiden. <laughs> Raiden. Raiden. <laughs> Like, with with Lee's costume, you can kind of already make him, but you cannot put Lee's clothes in Victor, so... Maybe that's what you have to mod. Even little has the little mouth thing. I don't know how it works with crossplay, though. Like, I don't know if you have to find the lobby manually, or how does it work? I'm assuming you have to. Like, usually, 
how how does it work on Strife? Can you just like join any lobby with uh, crossplay, or how does um, it usually work? On Strive, yeah, I mean it's it's quite straightforward. So okay, hopefully it's also as straightforward on on Tekken. I mean I don't see yeah. any issues on that. Ki was quite confusing with crossplay back in the day but you know that was a long time ago i'm pretty sure they've evolved but i haven't really played like uh, i've been pretty out of the fighting game thing for for quite a while so you know they've, they've been improving some stuff and some of the stuff has been taken for Tekken 8 some of the stuff hasn't you know that's let's not let's not pretend that this ain't one of those games with the with the good online but you know it, I think it's an improvement, but uh, it's not the, the peak that we're watching in other games. But uh, the crossplay, I hope, uh, I hope it's got uh, straightforward. And I hope we see can enter soon on the lobby, so we can get the show on the road. Yes, yes, please. I see. June doesn't use HP when using her moves in him. Yeah, yeah, she just the moves that are buffed. She just she just has them. Because why not? Yeah. They they made they made interesting changes like the hit the hit system. Even if it's like uh, it can seem quite shallow with uh, like hit engager, hit mash, and and like the other the other move. I don't. I'll learn the names eventually, but uh, some yeah, I, the, the characters get like uh, like unique stuff with heat mm -hmm. effects. Like uh, yeah, for example, Jin get like extra armor. June nope. gets uh, those moves, for example. Yeah. Uh, Mishima's like uh, even if you do the wave, uh, yeah. the wind god fist, uh, you still get the yeah, just the perfect one. Yeah. yeah. And Reina is going to be benefiting so much from that because her down four three is basically a wind a wind dash. Yeah. So you will get perfect electric guaranteed. You don't even need <laughs> to know the input for it. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah. Then down four three two. <laughs> just do it. Exactly. It's, it's basically down four three two. I haven't I haven't played much Reina myself. Or Victor, I, I did try as a senator in Cross Network Test, oh. but uh, I haven't put my time in with Victor or Reina. But Reina does seem interesting. She reminds me a lot of Lydia, and I really like Lydia. So mm. I don't know. I'm not usually I'm much of a Mishima player, besides like maybe Devil Gen. But uh, but yeah, I, I, it looks like a character I would enjoy. We're gonna have to see. Yeah, Lisa, for example, gets like unique chainsaw moves. Ooh. Still, still haven't really studied up on that. But uh, yeah, good, good addition. Like a lot of the mechanics in this game remind like Soul Calibur Six, and that's one of them because in that game there was a lot like unique stuff with the that ver that game's version of heat. Like some characters even having EX meter, like Yoshimitsu in that game. Oh, like that yeah, game definitely. If you go back and play that game, you can definitely see the the correlation to Tekken 8, and that's good because that was a really good game. Yes, Protos is saying in the chat. There's so much to learn. I think there's uh, definitely so much to learn. Like for uh, <laughs> beginners, um, are going to have. A lot and a lot. Even, even non-beginners, like, yeah, like uh, we've been since release of the game or before that, even because Rachman wanted Rach wanted to get into Tekken 8, so we were playing Tekken 7, and uh, and of course that's the big hurdle, you know, as a non-Tekken player coming into Tekken, like, what, how do I have to learn all this shit before I have to play it? Um, and we were all telling him like, with Tekken 8, we're all gonna have to learn. It's not just you. Like there's so much new things. Even even the things you already know, they're gonna become new because there's so it's so much different. So you know, don't even worry about it. Take your time. This ain't this ain't a game that's gonna get figured out in a week. That's for sure. 
but uh, here, yeah, there's so much, there's so much packed in the game. And uh, that's part of the part of the thrill, you know, learning every learning all that, seeing what other people learn. Yeah, that's something and that's something I really enjoy. It's learning together. I think that's that's what yeah. I like. This is uh, uh, pretty much like no one was streaming the game on live. Like for example, uh, Undernight had a three day early access, yeah. which luckily wasn't available on PlayStation. So everyone kind of like dived. So, <laughs> whatever, into Tekken at the same time, within quotes. Um, so everyone is finding out so much new stuff. Um, yeah. And, and that, that's, that's, that reminds me of, I think, I forgot which patch it was, uh, Tekken, but everyone was like uh, tweeting new stuff every single minute. And it was really fun getting to know. I think it was probably season two. Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, when they put Wallbound in the game, I think that's, I think that was the biggest change that game got. Yeah, definitely. When everyone got Wallbounds instead of just geese. Yep. I wasn't a big fan at first, yeah, but that's, that's funny. I said that I said that name, and I remember like, damn, that's not in Tekken Eight, and I didn't even I didn't even think yep. about that. I sometimes try to go for for Wallbound <laughs> moves, like yeah. for example, Steve's weave. Uh, right weave uh, two is uh, is the wall bounce, but uh, I didn't I didn't even think about that until now. Like it's uh, even Tekken Seven has been a game that that's evolved a lot during the years. So uh, for anyone that's like jumping in, maybe from other games, maybe not even from fighting games, maybe just wanting to learn, don't even be worried about it. Like. If you think you're having problems getting knowledge check, we're all gonna get knowledge check. <laughs> like uh, yeah. you can see any you can see any tournament match, and I can guarantee you you're gonna see dumb moves being thrown out that they shouldn't be throwing out, but you know they work. That's uh... that's the that's the beauty of this game. It's like it's like I like to compare it to. I like to compare it to like real combat, you know, it's, it's a really stupid comparison, but you know, if you're watching an MMA match, maybe some dude is just gonna get rocked with a raid that they studied the tapes and they never saw it. They're just gonna get rocked by it, you know, it's gonna happen. If it happens, it happens. You, you can't really prepare for that. Can't prepare for like every move in the universe. Yep, unless so, you know. you're on your knee. Unless your knee. I mean, even me gets Not even me, man. He didn't barely made top 8. Alright, the... seems like we're finally gonna have a game here. Let's go. Yeah, so this is going to be another weaponized fight. It's going to be yeah. Kane and Trench against Pika. So, sword against sword, guns, knives. Okay. <laughs> the, whole, the whole armory, basically. The whole armory. Most of all, he's French, so Kane and French has to win. Kane and French. <laughs> Kane and French against the French <laughs> character. Kane and Kane and French against Kane and French. Hold up. Kane is asking if he can play. Basic. Confirm. Yep. Oh. Gonna go ahead and play. Yeah. Oh, juxtaposer! Thank you so much for the raid. Yeah. Of course. Thanks for the raid. From from Strive to to Tekken. Um, let's see what uh, what poser can put in in yeah, Tekken. Yeah, I was I was uh, hanging out before with the boys, and uh, Simbird actually played him on oh. ranked. Seems like he's playing Feng. Yeah, I, I saw maybe he was... maybe the the guilty gear player's character of choice. I don't know. He was a f he. I think he went from Tekken Seven to Strive to Tekken oh, Eight. Okay. And he was already a Feng. Yeah, player. That makes sense. And he dislikes like... Asuka, so that's based. Some of this, uh, even some of the um, some of the pe the people that might be associated with other games, they, maybe they started in Tekken. Like. Round one. That's the that's the the good thing about having so many games now, and Wait. so so much accessibility for those games. Pika Nina? Okay. Oh, oh this he's cooking. 
Okay, so Nina used to be like uh, in Tekken 7. I would say that was like his best like normal character, you know, because he always had the like the guest characters, the DLC. Yeah. But this was this one on Horan were his like best normal character. Yeah. Also the mean Eddie. Yeah, oh. the Eddie, but you know Eddie, man, pick up with Eddie in Tekken 8, that's gonna be something. Oh. Of danger. Oh, he uses the heat smash. Okay. Guess the champ from Counter Sense. Is this gonna kill? God damn. damn. Round two. And also, Yoshi doesn't even need heat for uh, the health replenishing, uh, which yeah. is kind of crazy. Yeah, uh, it's just huh? the curse sword. Yeah, curse sword, Yoshi Mitsu. Four, three. And the heat smash. Oh, break on the ground. Okay. Plus frames. More plus frames. Oh, let's chain throw. throw. No. Let's throw that though. Damn. Round three. Elbow to the chest. Fight. We could go in for the uh, Tekken 7 outfit. I think yeah. the Tekken 8 outfit was quite neat. So. Yeah. Uh, something I don't like is. This happened to a couple of characters, but they changed. They changed their hairstyle. Like for some reason. Oh! And then the old outfit doesn't have the old hairstyle, it just has the new hairstyle. Oh, okay, that's... At least that's the weird. same. <laughs> like, they made her hair longer, and uh, now the old outfit also has long hair. Yeah, Alisa, Alisa with long hair is sick, though. The blonde, I'm like, not sure uh, if I like it yet, though. Oh, they grabbed up to it. spin! Those frames into nothing! Good life leap! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's grab! That's unbreakable, by the way, you have to duck it. Or it used yeah. to be. Maybe it's not anymore. Fight. Hopefully. It's, it's a new game. <laughs> Damn, nice spin. Oh, committing no. to the big lock. Just punish. Just dump forward two. Oh, okay. Oh, nice Four back oh, two. Two, two, two. How can she slap? More time. There you go. Speed running this round, and it's a final yeah. round in game one. It's gonna schedule. <laughs> Jesus! It's okay. nice spin, but still gets stacked in the back. Again, at this spin, Kabukini doesn't wow. connect, but good launch. Good combo balcony break, maybe? No? Let me go for it. Oh, flash. Perk. Perk on the ground. Side switch, though. Oh, oh, nice flash! Oh, heat engage. Oh, trainer stuff. It was even against Nina. Yeah. Hey, oh, no. beat smash. Was that a punish? No way that was a punish, right? It was like control that shit. Eight. Come take your man. There you go. <laughs> Seize. Um. I wonder if we're going to see the Victor now from Pika. I do wonder because I, I feel like Victor, the most obvious comparison is Noctis, and Pika did have a Noctis. Yep. So. Uh, just like Mercury. I think, yeah. Yeah, it's like that. But uh, yeah, I, we, saw the, we saw the Victor before, and the Victor was successful. So I wonder why he even went to the Nina in the first place. But I think we are going to see the Victor now. But that Nina was really like close final run, so definitely wouldn't blame it on the character there. Yeah, Just uh, get... can entrench with the clutch a little bit more. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, we're oh, gonna no. see. So oh, Nina sticking it out with the Nina, going to that secluded training ground. Probably there my favorite. Nina. Cardio, going for the Tekken 8 outfit now. Yeah, new Nina looks. Yeah. Fight. Let's go. Oh, okay. I think that's sidestep one. They they made her with short hair, so the Ana players can just customize her as Ana and, and <laughs> don't talk about how they want to play Ana instead. Yep, and just do QCF one. Yeah. This is the same move. Okay. It's a low oh, flash. Okay. That's guaranteed. Okay. Chunks of damage. Jesus. Nice block. Look below. Nice punish. Finish. Oh, oh trying to flash! No punish. Big smash. Ooh, heat smash as well. Good break on the ground, but I've killed. Switch, no? 
Rageheart too. Oh, nice number two! This might kill with Rageheart! Ah, bah. Okay. We'll find out. I think I think it I, will. You think that's uh, I'm pretty sure it will. This is such a sick Rageheart. Oh, yes. Slash, there you go. Late to rest. How you even get a life after that one? That's a fatality right there. So Caliber, Mortal Kombat, what is Yoshi lacking? Roman Cancel! Give Yoshi Roman Cancel! Damn! <laughs> or change it! Gear Stage second like version? Yeah, it do be. It's like they took Gear Stage and they took Dojo and they just put them together. They needed an excuse to keep Gear Stage in. Oh! Yeah. Big Heat Engager! And they also really like the Dojo, so yeah, they just put the Dojo. Yeah, thanks. They're both sick. Imagine Akuma yeah. breaking up with the statue. For the second I'm pretty, DLC I'm pretty sad they, they took away the Fight. the guest character music from the jukebox. The oh. rights and all that, but yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Oh! Oh, is and, this, uh, is this it? Yeah, that's definitely dead. Smash? Uh -huh. Wait, no, that's not dead. No. One more touch! It's a lot okay, there you go. There was a lot of mechanic on that combo, but there you go. <laughs> He got still into it. Okay, the trench still on set point. Big win. Nice punish with the 1 1. Blossom, one. Slight life for a Pika. So now that I remember, you know, there was, a, there was a little thing called the demo, and Nina was one of the four characters available in the demo, so maybe Pika has just been grinding for a month. Yep, yeah, as well. Oof. Nice punish, the 4 1 4. Goes to the low as well. Has been engaged, Kaden Trench looking good! Nice no, interrupt there! Too much. Oh, there you go. I was gonna Almost. keep. Big whiff! Nice. Oh no! Oh, nice 1 1! Okay. One more touch! Fakes no. the low! While standing for like and Trench. With a 2 0! -oh. Over oh, Pika! Alright. Kane and Trench will advance with that to winner semis? Question mark? Yeah, that's winner semis. This is winner's finals. No, winner's, yeah, winner's finals, hold up. Yep. Really All right. Stuff from, uh, from Kane and Trench. He will cement himself in the top three, guaranteed, on the first Salty U top eight for yes. Tekken 8. In the money, because uh, we have... Uh, yeah, he's saying the money. 56. 50. Uh, yeah, I think it's over 50. Uh, so, hopefully, guaranteed payout. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Once again. And, uh, with that, that's going to be it for us both. Rexu, been good having you back. Welcome back to the, to the, to the 3D realms, you know? <laughs> It's uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely been a blast, and uh, also being back on the mic with with you, Panther. So uh, yeah, uh, hey, six nice. stuff. Speaking of Commenting six with stuff, with Rexu in a game I actually like. Let's go. <laughs> Please claim a code. That is also something that we really yeah. like. Um, there's still plenty of codes left. I 23. love claiming codes. I love. I wish I could do it too. twice. <laughs> Sadly, we cannot. But you in the chat who has not claimed the code yet, you definitely can. There's over 100 people watching, so we can definitely get that number to zero. But hopefully, we we'll do it soon. Yeah, somebody, Until then, somebody make my wish come true. And uh... oh yeah, hop up the camps. Yep, we... There you go. It's been a while. It's, it's been a while since I commented anything really. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, make my wish come true and claim a code for me, will ya? <laughs> claim like 20 of them for me. I would really enjoy that. A couple of clicks yeah, is that, all it takes. We are gonna have Wim and Aisk to close out the tournament here. So we're gonna be holding it till they jump in here real quick. All right, the it's uh, uh, you know now we had these two goobie goombas on comps, and now it's the real deal, you know. Back to me. <laughs> just like that.
It was a good gesture. And what's good, guys? Upgrade, so upgrading from 2D to 3D like that. Very, very yeah. fun. Having you guys over. And uh, yeah, Rexu back in 3D. Commentating good games. Love to see it. Let's go. Yeah. All right. All right. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. Here's Women Ace. See ya. Bye. Bye. Speaking of, been a while. What is good, my man? Win. Hey, hey. Yeah. Just got back from my holiday. Just in time for Tekken 8's launch. And damn, this game's hell of fun. <laughs> It, it is. It is. I. The worst part is right. Like because of work, I. I shouldn't have. I should have taken Friday off. I didn't know that it was gonna be launching like midnight Thursday. I was, like away all day, right? Like man, get home in the evening. So I only really played uh, yesterday. Uh, played like five hours or so. That's pretty much all because I didn't really play the betas at all. But yeah, very fun so far. Definitely a lot of things you have to learn, right? Again, for me, like the the new mechanics and stuff, definitely tough to get into um i still don't entirely know how everything works and what's plus and block and what's minus and stuff like that i don't know that's nice yeah i mean there's like in like you said so much to learn but it's uh at least it's like intuitive enough that you can still kind of get a feel for stuff yeah. but but uh, if, if you have the experience like we do, but yeah, I definitely agree. There's like a lot of lear learning to be done and I'm looking forward to it, especially with the new uh, practice mode and the way the replays work and yeah. the way you can like take over control during the replays, like uh, like they implemented in that one Guilty Gear. Like now it's also possible in Tekken, which is a really cool feature for uh, improving. Just being able to like see like, oh, I kept losing to this string. Let me take control of myself in that moment in the replay and just try out different things and just see what can I do different here? How do I beat this strategy? Just uh, really important in like a game like this, if you want to improve, uh, being able to have that tool, very useful, very useful. And yeah, like uh, the new characters are all looking really cool as well. Uh, also the OG characters, just their new design, just... Yeah. Uh, absolute fire like i'm enjoying victor a lot i've been playing him today uh, like you ace i also had work on friday and i didn't want to play thursday midnight that was a bit too risky with work so i also only played yesterday and i played only story mode yesterday and then today i uh, i did some rank with uh, with the victor and just getting the hang of it and yeah, he's very fun he like you know i you know i used to play noctis so I was thinking like uh, maybe like King and Victor would be my mains and I think I'm gonna go with that. He isn't quite like Noctis though, it feels more like a, a mix between Lars, Raven and uh, Noctis as well. It's like a, a weird mix and also his own thing of course, but kind of like yeah. a mix of those characters. <clears throat> uh, but he's very fun. Yeah, he looks very fun. Um, so yeah, we got a pretty interesting bracket here. Uh, obviously, I, I would say a lot of what I would consider upsets if this were. Tekken 7, obviously, new game day one, so we can't really say anything's an upset, right? Um, but, you know, Ratch, one match away from going to uh, Tabate. Uh, Valix as well, the homie. Almost Moldovian in Tabate. I've been kind of hyped. So very, very nice right there. So we are just waiting, so uh, Lakumi is having a bit of issues finding the lobby. Um, it's like the one thing that seems to be an issue is like finding lobbies right now. Maybe it's because there's so many playing lobbies, I guess. That it might be you not know, a lot with the same codes or whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, yeah, I don't know, like uh, I joined the lobby today and I just did it through Steam, but like yeah. this is crossplay, so you know, PlayStation people can't just go to Steam and click Join oh, game, like join join ah, game. Me... So, oh, there we go. Ah. Um, but wow. I have a lot of people on my friend list, so that's good at least. But the issue yeah. is when I try to invite through Steam. Uh, I don't know if there's a fix, but it's not like categorized after rank. It's not categorized after name. It's just like a jumbled random list of, of things that that's like. So so it's like I can hardly find anyone that way because it's just purely random. Which yeah, is... no, that that's kind of annoying, but uh, but yeah, we'll we'll have to figure it out, right? As we uh, host these tournaments, to uh, what the I... best strat is. Actually, is this Lakomi? I assume so. 
and so I saw that they uh, have the info. The <laughs> I didn't hear, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did like Komi play on stream before? I'm not sure. No. no. In Tekken 7, I think, like when we played like Zafina, right? Uh, played Alisa, I think. Uh, Alisa. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, while running 3-2, you know, it's like a move that's like the bane of everyone's existence on ranked right now when they're yeah. playing against Azucena. Yeah, while running moves in general seems very strong in this game, right? Because it's uh, very easy as well to uh, do instant while running. So stuff like True. Dragon of, man, that's been annoying as well. Yeah. The big thing with that one though is like you have the second hit, so if you step it, you kind of have to duck it for the high. <laughs> it's uh, very much. Yeah, there we have the health sweep from the stance. Right. Nice. Okay. Pressure, pressure. No break. That's gonna be it. I also yeah, think it's fun. Uh, you know, new new game, right? Uh, the ranks, like we have red ranks. That's the highest we've seen today. Probably the highest we have right now. Uh, which is funny. It's uh, all season one back, back again. Yeah, it's weird though. Like there's only like three ranks per per tier now. At least that's like what I've yeah. seen so far. But that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a bit faster ranking up. I agree. Oh, there we go. Nakumi sure really doing a good move. jump here. I'm not sure if you can break that grab. I don't think so because it's like a slow startup that we kind of have to see. Yeah, like uh, some other unbreakable grabs that exist. Oh, nice. Goes for the rage for the damage. I respect it. Yeah. Want to get all our health back, probably. Oh. Yeah, almost, Close right? Um, now it's all even. Oh, the chunky low. Oh, man. Oh, right. is he gonna survive, though? No. There it is, the second hit. <laughs> Clutches so it out. Cheap. That's so cheap, man. Yeah. I had like some cheap moments earlier against Rage or it's against like uh, Rush for instance with uh, the heat smash of Victor. It's like he teleports upstairs with like his second hit and it just dodged the Rage Art against Rush. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, Alright, stance. Okay, just go for the mid counter hit. Yeah, pressure. No, oh, just needs one last hit. Nice little step into the string. Nice, uh, Lakumi now two rounds to one. Enters heat. Nice. See, that's that's one way though. If you, if you walk long enough there, you can avoid the wild running move. Good to know. <laughs> nice. Trading pokes. Oh man, look at that damage though. Generate in a bit of trouble, but look at the combat. Yeah, the damage. Yeah, just two running insane. moves. That's all it took. Oh, and the downfall one. There we go, Lakomi. It's funny, like both of these, you know, same character, same rank. <laughs> I just noticed. Yeah, you can see it well here in the lobby. Ten Ryu. Both of them. I'm right, just gonna rematch, of course. We're going with the one game per, uh, per return to lobby strat to uh, help with the spectating, right, Aisk? Yes, so um, the spectating, so I've done a lot of testing and spectating, if you have first two on, uh, the host will get kicked out of spectating every time. Um, which means that the two players are starting playing, but I get kicked out and I have to rejoin into the spectating, which the might not even battle. work. Sometimes it doesn't. And when it does, I miss like the first one and a half round. So we have to do it this way. Luckily, it's much faster than the second seven. Yeah. I, I also have issue if I'm tapped out, it doesn't go into spectating and made even worse if I'm in borderless. So I'm in full screen right now. Um, just wait. But you know it works. It works. We got it to work, so it's fine. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just dancing. Vibing. Uh, float. Again, floating. Getting a bit too, uh, you know, lenient oh, with those. Uh, oh, yeah, picks. that's gonna kill. Absolutely will do. Oh. So, obviously, you got the new uh, mechanics, you know, heat smash, uh, heat dash, so on. Heat burst. The the heat smash, what is that on, um, on block, actually? Uh, heat smash is like the special move, I think, they have when they're yeah. in heat. 
Also, it, it, that it, depends it on the character, yeah. though, right? You have low ones and higher ones, and, or like mid ones at least. Yeah. But uh, if you mean like the what is it, like Yeet Crush, it's like the generic thing everyone has now, right? The Get oh. Off Me card. I, I, I think actually, that's just the, like the, a... that that one's hella plus, right? Yeah, I don't know. Like uh, Rush told me, it was like a, kind of like a reset to neutral because of the pushback. But I think yeah. if you're up close, you're plus. Yeah. Or like if you're in hit, you're definitely plus. I think. But I, that's also I think because honestly, I uh, I need to love it. Yeah, I need to as bit. well. Because I, I feel like when I've played against people, the heat smash, you know, the one that's uh oh, rage out blocked, and that is set point for Lakomi. I feel like the heat smash tends to be plus on block because at least I see a lot of people do it and then use it as like a pressure tool. Yeah, I've mostly used it as like a get off me tool because it's like greatly armored and then when they block it, you still like make a lot of distance, so it's like a reset to neutral, which is nice. And the heat smash Victor has is like a low, so yeah, I just uh, use it like that. Alright, it's way back. So running in. Oh, so a lot of bro. Hey! And Lakomi will move into that um, winner's finals. Up against Kane and Trench, even. So that is going to be a pretty interesting match. Yeah, new Yoshi looking really cool, really cool. Uh, like, I love the inclusion of his Soul Calibur moves. Like, he has, like, the Soul Calibur wall combo with, like, the spinning blade. It's, uh... I always thought that would look really cool, so I'm glad yeah. we have that now in Tekken 8 as well. I think Yoshi looks sick, man. But Yoshi also feels uh, very, uh, whew, you know, making me sweat when I play against that character, let me tell you. And we are going to see actually some Yoshi right now. We're going to have Dave Darko TV, um, I believe even streaming the tournament as well, uh, up against the Don Yeager. Is Dave Darko someone I remember vaguely from... Um, Vaguely from Tekken, uh, Tekken 7. It's definitely a tag that I remember. Also, yeah, I've know, definitely seen it that before. movie, right? But... But still. Oh, he's not going to lose his top eight. Uh, Dave, uh, check check the help desk channel on uh, on Discord. So there's a this lobby. You might, if you join in Tekken 7, you might even have me as a friend. Let's check. Oh, I don't. Uh, so you just search up the uh, you search up the uh, name of the lobby or whatever, and then you join through there. there yeah. Yeah. I think Don uh, Jaeger with the Nina, of course, as we saw before, doing uh, great work. People were saying like she was like heavily nerfed compared to her earlier iterations, but. Uh, you know, the the, the character loyalty, loyalists are still gonna make work. I think I think every character right now, like some characters, definitely uh, might be crazier than others. But I do feel like right now everyone seems like at least viable. But that's because there's such a big fog of war, though, right? <laughs> With yeah. Like, uh... I, I I saw. Um, it was so funny. Who was it? It was Dengujin. Dengujin was like all characters, you know, you know, there's no doubt playing all characters are good, so on, you know, it's fine, we just don't know it yet. And then somebody replies and he's like, Oh yeah, I mean obviously Asuka is bad, but the rest are good. <laughs> so it was so funny. <laughs> I definitely see uh, you know, again the Asuka server is coping. I can feel her a bit. She definitely doesn't feel good right now. But well, there might be some undiscovered stuff right it's day one, so uh, sure, you can find me on Steam. That that's fine. Um, uh, which, which flag do you want, by the way, Dave? Um, I'll uh, I'll give it to you. I I feel like it's UK, but it's probably not. It's just see see the name and it gives me UK vibes. <laughs> let me let me give you my uh, my friend code. Um, you can add me. You oh you already did. Sweet. Italy. All right. Cool. All right. All right, right. we're also having some almost champagne for, you know, Tekken 8 release. Important. Yeah, happy Tekken 8. Cheers. Guess I'll drink some Coke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Coke, Coke is, that's kind of, that's kind of class too, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Italian. Bro, you, Rexu. 
If you put, you just have to put Ratch and Wanded some more, okay? Now he doesn't play much Strive though, so you're too late. You kind of, you know, you kind of fucked up, you know. You ruined your relationship, Rexu. That's on you. Yeah, Ratch is gonna be a Tekken main from now on. No more, no more Strive. He's he's with us now, right? <laughs> Yeah, like I played against like his Fang earlier, and uh, his Fang looked very oppressive uh, yeah. and a good, a good game plan already. You know, still, I mean, everyone has to learn stuff, and he not coming from like a big tech and background, but from Strife needs to learn a bit more. But yeah, I mean, he's yeah, been, like uh... he was one set out of top eight, like you like you said earlier as well, Ace. So you know, that just shows uh, his Fang uh, can already be scary. Yeah, he's been grinding already, and. Um... You know, again, this bracket is, is wild, man. Like, I see a lot of people that I think, damn, these guys are going to probably make around top eight, and then they lose round one to someone, I don't know. <laughs> it's like... Uh, like, um, I think Trimmer lost to uh, Takamata, like, game one or so. Um, and, and Trimmer, you know, someone who was very good in, in Tekken 7, Takamata was, you know, he was, he was fine. He was like a guy who goes, like, 2-2, but not someone who would beat Trimmer, right? But very unlikely. Um, just they won crazy, man. That's yeah. also, I think, very fun. You, you legit don't battle. know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and like this game is also very explosive with the aggressiveness. So, yeah. like the damage can be quite crazy. Oh wait, we so... got a one dollar donation from uh, Calciva. Thank you very much, Calciva. Appreciate, appreciate. There you go. Now almost at sixty bucks. Don't get that Yoshi. Bro, I like this. <laughs> this costume is great, man. Yeah, the guitar and everything. Alright, there we go. Nice wall carry. Alright, pressure with that. Ooh, nice step. It just goes with the downfall. One punish. Rainbow drop. Broken. <laughs> it's like we can both uh, breathe poison. <laughs> we get some healing. Don Jaeger now in rage. Oh, big counter hit. Alright, tornado. Yeah. You know, you have the pressure, but you're kind of scared of that flash, so yeah. you need to be careful. A little down four action, closes it out. Nice first round, down Jaeger. Yeah. Flash seems pretty good in this game, not gonna lie. I mean, you don't get full combo, right? Like in, uh, like in seven, but it seems really good. Somehow it seems yeah. like it has more range or something. I don't know. I think it might be like a heat thing or something that makes oh, yeah. it like even better. I've seen uh, some crazy stuff with the wall as well, with it just like doing it four times in a row, four flashes. Yeah. Oh, stuff like that. And uh, Nina, obviously known for that wall carry, goes exactly there. What's the mix? Oh, tries to flash big enough. Yeah. Got away with it, whiffing though. But yeah, this is definitely gonna kill unless the drop, but the down back too. Uh, coming clutch. Yeah. And that is now two. Up here for Don Jaeger, looking very, very solid. Oh, that's new. Alright, yeah, guaranteed 14 frames. Heat engager, rainbow drop broken. Throw breaks on point right now. Oh, nice. The big sway back launcher. Good chunk of damage, though. Got in the, in the rear, though. So, awkward combo. Let's sweep the floor. Guaranteed hits. Pressure, pressure, pressure. There it is! The big flash! Look at all this health gain as well. Yep. Oh, well, the heat is gone, so the health gain isn't as much now. Spent this heat to do that. But, yeah, got out of a situation. The and a little 1-1. One, one. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Runs on the board for Kane. Uh, for Dave, right? Alright. Don't come out. Yeah, down for 2. Still a good button in this game. Down for 1 again. Man, that sword slash after the, uh, the stone fist. That's new. Yeah, speaking of, we got the uh, soul caliber moves out. But the launch yeah. Don Jaeger. We're taking that trip to the wall all the way. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, doesn't kill. 
I uh, Don Four gonna clutch it out, and there we go, Don Jaeger first game. Isn't it past your bedtime? All right, one oh for Don Jaeger, not looking too bad here. Solid. Both players reading up again. See it? Yeah. You know, earlier I saw like Dave doing like a like back turn into like the generic back turn down four. Yeah. Like those moves are like minus 50 now, I believe. So it's like characters who used to do a lot of like, you know, moves that put you in back turn and not very minus or like not very plus or something and then do like a little poke with the generic, you know, down three or down four. And now like that stuff is like high risk, you know, for such a little poke. Before it was only like, I think like minus 13, minus 12. Yep. That kind of range, uh, you know, it could get low parry though, which was like a bigger deal. Well, actually, like I said, a bigger deal in previous game, but like low parries in this game, you can also like, especially if you get the wall, still get like a good chunk of damage. Like uh, we thought low parries were like uh, very weak now, but uh, or like weaker now, but I've seen people still get like quite a bit of damage off of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They look so uh, easy. There we go. Taking a trip to wall. Okay. Low parries break. will always be good, right? Nope. Because if you're not entirely sure of the frames and stuff like that, it's like easy always having the same option for, for punish. It's like True. it takes something off, you know, your brain. Oh, oh that hits. Round two. Fight. Dave Darko. Cool. One. There we go. On the board. I wonder if they're going to add more uh, customization items. Uh, maybe a DLC or something. Yeah, like it's very sad. Like uh, for males, especially, I find like the options are very limited, in my opinion. So One thing I'm hoping as well that there's like new stuff coming with like uh, the DLCs. So I think one thing that's good is the as you can kind of see on, on Dave Darko here, right? The like the amount of colors you're able to change per piece is uh, it's quite you know quite a bit. So you can really play around with colors. Yeah, that's definitely true. There we go. They also look like a lot better, you know, like all yeah. the customization options. It's just like a very cheap texture swap. To oh, the low parry! Oh, he has rage as well. So no, drop oh, no, it! He didn't spend no it. way! <laughs> no, oh, that's yes. too bad. I think just rage arts even like after the low parry would have done. Yeah. And that's kind of like the second time, right? Don Yeager was uh, saved by the bell, had that game against uh, Pika as well. <laughs> but Pika yeah. didn't uh, rage hard. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Oh, flash trade. That, that keep up. Oh, and the down nice. four too. Great timing. Yes. At the low. Uh, it still has that great uh, tilt for three approach tool. Alright, uh, and there we go, the sword slide from the 1 1. Yeah, Two rounds. Uh, Dave Darko now might equalize. Yep. Very nice. There we go, the flash enters heat. Heat's ticking down. Yeah. You gotta fight when, you're, when the heat's on, you know? You gotta bring it, get that offense off. When you're getting hit, it also kind of slows down a bit, as you can see. Like, you really don't want to be inactive when your heat is uh, active. Oh yeah, it, <laughs> it, might, it, might, it. Uh, it might power up Flash, because you can see he did heat there, and uh, the heat yeah, yeah, it does, just uh, completely uh, evaporated, so... Yeah, yeah. Hate, like every character has like some heat-only moves that also spend it a bit. Oh man, that blonde bomb. Okay, let's see if Don Jaeger is gonna clutch out the set here too. Oh. And eliminate Both. Dave Dark Mo, because this is the loser side of the bracket. Yeah, just too damn much. That new move that uh, puts him into the helicopter, like it seems interesting, because it seems like he's in a good situation uh, on block. Even. Yeah, but, um, the very you know, little uh, experience I've had, it, it seems like you can't do much there. Again, new game, gotta learn all the frames all over again. Yeah, because like if it's like bit minus, you can just think like, oh, I'll just jab and float them out of it, right? And just get like a little float combo. Heck, good damage, hitting that low again! And that will make it one to one. Dave Darko, okay. You very, very nice. 
fight. Yeah. Like, um, I, I definitely get away. Like, for instance, the Asuka's uh, sidestep 2 now is like minus 12. Uh, it used to be safe on block. And I don't think a single person has uh, punished it yet. Because, you know, even people who, who played the game before, because you're not used to that move being punishable, you've got to kind of relearn a lot of stuff. True. In the worst way. feel right now is like how rank down 4-4 four, four though, right? Yeah. Like you used to, it, it just used to be such a like noob test, quote unquote, in like lower ranks, like learning, oh, I can duck and launch uh, the second hit of this, so I can't let them get away with this, with this counter hit launch low high. But now it's just jails and it's minus 12. It's like, wow. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. I actually didn't even know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of funny things, right? Like, I I do the Tekken 7 combo still, like a lot of muscle memory, that's... Oh, yeah. I, I, I The worst thing I had, like, when I played the beta with King and then went back to Tekken 7 and started doing, like, Tekken 8 combos with moves that don't exist. And it's just, oh, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's weird at that point. It's scary. Yeah. It looks so cool, the combo transition into uh, back and fly. Yeah. All right. Nope. That either is too slow or he did it too slow. For the flash frames. The guy in rage. Ooh, big whiff. And no more heat there. Oh, nigga, now. No, yeah. no. no. Oh, oh, bad punish though on that sweep, but still the round for Dave. Round nice with punish. Yeah, that's actually another thing uh, for me. I've had, like, I, I've been blocking, like, um, you know, uh, snake edges, but it's like the animation looks a bit different, so my mind doesn't register like the punish like it did before. <laughs> it's weird. So I just tend to like block them and do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> the worst feel. Tap, getting that low. Onye got in a lot of trouble in here. Heat's still available for both people here. I mean, we got the club music, and Nina definitely dressed for the club. Ooh. Dashing. Low parry. Low parry. No! Oh, no! No good combo, but... Okay, the full crouch sweep. Okay, Dave looking good here. One more round, and he eliminates Don Jaeger. The reversal. That combo, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. With the lows again. Ah, cool. Trouble while standing four, not bad. That connects. Right, no break. Okay. Good break there. Nice. From, uh, Dark Core. Yeah. Both players have been just breaking throws left and right. And the down back threes, and there we go, Dave, eliminating Don Yeager two to one after Don Yeager took that first game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I think the dragonfly throw is like uh, in, uh, in seven, right? So you can duck it, but you can't break it. Yeah, that's on break. You, you also don't see like the little uh, pink flash, right? So yeah, that is. Uh, it's it's kind of more like an unblockable. It goes into throw animation than uh, a throw. Yeah, that's true. It's a good way looking at it, I think. Yeah, that is it. Unfortunately, that means um, Onyega is eliminated. Yeah, getting uh, that shared seventh spot on the... Uh, do you already have like a generator for like uh, the top eights for Tekken 8? I eight? wonder. I, actually, I was gonna gonna check. That's a good reminder. But now if, if it exists, otherwise, I, you know, I'll, I'll... Graphic design is my passion. I'll, I'll make do. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have some MS paint. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It but does yeah. not I mean, exist yet. No. No? Oh, that's too bad. I can do the one for. Uh, I can do the one for Tekken Seven. Set it up and then put the characters in there myself. That works. That yeah, that seems like a good solution. Uh, I, I checked Tier Maker and there was already an option for making a Tekken Eight tier list. But, uh, you know, I wanted to make one as a joke, you know, like, oh, yeah, I, I've solved the game already. I know who's strong. I, I'm going <laughs> to do that. I'm just going to I'm going to be downplay king. I'm just going to put Asuka in, in bad tier and the rest in good tier. And then maybe have it like a really good, like Jun and Dragon of uh, those kind of characters. Yeah, Azucena, Reyna. 
Is is Reyna actually that good? Um, I wonder. I think so, honestly. Like from what I've seen, she uh, it's it kind of like what if like a normal Tekken character had an electric instead of like a Mishima having an electric. That's kind of how she feels a bit. But I'm I'm not sure. Like she she seems to have crazy carry and good damage. Yeah. The the things I've heard is that she feels a bit unfinished in certain ways, and that it's uh, pretty iffy the way that she's forced into stance, kind of like a lot like Lydia. Um, where it's like uh, not necessarily good to go into stance. Yeah, um, I did notice like when she did like certain punishes, she always went into stance. Yeah, but but again, I have no experience playing the character. I, I literally played against the character like twice, and that's my whole you know, experience. So yeah, like her health sweep also doesn't seem that wow. No, from, yeah, I mean uh, it, it's like annoying, right? Getting but yeah, the fact that you don't get Oki. Oh, that's another thing. I do not know how to approach Oki in this game, uh, especially like at the wall. Um, I don't know what what I should press, <laughs> so I just kill myself every time I get like to the wall. I get my wall combo, and then I die. It's, it's a bad feeling. Oh, oh we got both players in here. Evil also rocking that as Sinner, so that seems like a common trope here. Yeah, she definitely seems well represented. I, I think uh, I saw like I remember like doing in, when they were doing an exhibit, right? And as you say, I was also played by uh, I think Arson Ash. Yeah. And there absolutely. was also a lot of while running three twos in that exhibition. <laughs> it's just uh, it seems like a very like she seems very oppressive. And then uh, oh, but it's gonna be June. Another character people are saying is completely uh, busted right now, quote unquote. Yeah, definitely a character I need to uh, check out myself, you know, as an Asuka player. Seems like that might be a good way to go. There we go. No uh, break on that normal grab. Uh, both players just a bit patient there, trying to just barely stay out of their ranges to get a whiff punish like so. Okay, the mid counter hit just gets blocked. Nice little duck though. Oh, and the you know high power crushes are so nice to be honest. Like high safe ones in this game. Yeah, I feel they're like uh, really good. Hello. Okay. I feel like um, the further we kind of progress into a bracket, we can kind of see, you know, we, we're getting more of a feel of what it's probably going to look like in a month, um, how this game's going to look right. Oh, the back three connects. Because it feels like um, a lot less aggressive in a way, not taking as many risks. Yeah. Uh, you know, minimizing risk is always like a big thing in, in Tekken games in general as well, right? Like, especially at higher levels, you always see like minimum amount of risk, just going for like easy, uh, safe punishes and stuff instead of going to try and get a launch. Like, that's why uh, in general, like a lot of high players, they uh, like characters get valued a lot more on their faster moves yeah. and higher levels. Oh, that punch. Yep, yeah, so Neon K now in the lead 2-1. What do we do here? Yeah, she, she has like a Darfo 2 that's like uh, like a like a one that should be minus, which is minus, but then she can spend health to make it safe, I believe. Damn. And that's like a crazy concept to think about. Like if you if I had like a, like Josie or, or like Leo that you could make their Darfo 2 safe. That's crazy, right? That is first game here over to Neon K. Okay, looking uh, pretty damn solid. Uh, evil back to drawing boards. Obviously, you got yeah. the uh, already the the purple ranks there from Neon K as well. Dang. Yeah, I've seen like a few people in purple, uh, legitimately. You know, not like yeah, yeah. Uh, those boosters. You know, on Twitter we saw like uh, that Victor and Reina player. Upgrading wins. I saw someone say that they might be like 
account sellers. Like they're boosting those accounts just to sell like an account with a high rank for Tekken 8. And that's Man. like, wow. Yeah. Who battle. even? Okay, I like the custom. Fine cone head, let's go. Round one. And Diablo Jun. Yeah. yeah, as you said, I think um, one thing, even though there's a lack of maybe customization items, I do think they fit a lot better than in, uh, in Tekken 7. Like, it actually looks like they're kind of fitted to the character. In Tekken 7, it, it didn't look like that at all. Yeah, it looked like, yeah, like because the textures were usually cheaper. Also, that was like such a big discrepancy as well between older characters and the new DLC yeah. ones in terms of quality of the... Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. Okay, the jab. Kazumi's cool. dress being made like out of cardboard and stuff. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, first round, NK. NK looking very, very good here. Evil in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I mean you can't really just knowledge check your opponent in this case because you know they both uh, they both have the Dazusena knowledge on uh, unlock normally since they both player. Oh damn, yeah, that's safe. Just spend some health. Crazy. Bad. Oh, and the look at that! You can just see the chunks flying off of evil. Yep. So final chance here. We are on set. Point obviously the loser of this is out of the tournament in seventh place. Okay, super lag. Oh man, the crush. Yeah, even on open ground, great damage. Didn't even spend heat. Right. Oh, damage. Uh, evil yeah. spends heat though. Take that hands out for him. Back three block, no punish. High, high, uh, low, rather. I was sending one plus two. Spending more health, big whiff. Oh, didn't launch her. Okay, the float. Just gonna have to the screw. No! Messes it up. Or the tornado, rather. That enters heat, but that will do it. And Neon K taking out evil 2 to 0. Sorry, no Italian. Getting seventh place, but you know, that's very nice. Evil, obviously, very old man, right? So, um, teaching a dog new tricks. We can see that he has learned new tricks getting into that top eight. Nyan K, obviously, mm -hmm. much younger, right? So, yeah, you know, he's, us, uh, us old he's people, a young you know, boy we, from the UK. We... Oh, I see, uh, you know, chat, you know, we have like a, a nice view account here. You know, Tekken 8's new, it's hype. Got like 122 people here, but we still have 18 Matcherino codes. Now, if you don't know about Matcherino, it's a, a crowdsourcing, uh, fundraise sourcing thing platform. How would you best say it? The prize pool sourcing platform. And it's completely free for you as a player to add 25 cents into the prize pool by simply claiming a coupon code. All you do is you. Uh, Log into a Matcherino account. You can make an account by simply uh, using one of your other social medias. And then you can each person claim a singular coupon code. I see someone just claimed one. That's amazing because every coupon code adds for free, no charge, 25 cents into that price pool up to a maximum of 50 codes. And we already started today with uh, 50 bucks by our gracious host, Ace. And as you can see, it has already uh, grown a bit, but I would love to see all those codes claimed. In fact, if all the codes are claimed, I will toss in a nice 20 bucks myself. Yo, Courtesy. okay. Yeah, that's a win promise. And those are rock solid, usually. That, that, sound, <laughs> bro, that sounded so much like a scam, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's a, that's a win promise. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Then, then I say something like, you know, this, like they speed up in the commercials where they say like, you know, or like for medicine where they, where they go with like all the, you know, the uh, yeah. the bad effects it can have, like just speed up and just say like, yeah. win promise, I don't actually promise anything, <laughs> like something, <laughs> but no, no, I will.
so yeah, the chat, you know, if you want to see the price pool grow, uh, if everyone pitches in their effort, you know, we, like I said, we have 120 people here. We only had uh, 50 codes to begin with, 16 codes left. Yeah. Thank you, X guy and the count, you know, we're counting down here, 16 codes left. If those codes get used before the end of the tournament, you can see a nice big 20 bucks popping in there from yours truly. So. Let's uh, support these amazing players and their years of dedication to this game. No, wait, that was Tekken 7, but you know, Tekken 8, it's still Tekken, right? You can see, uh, we can see a lot of similar names as before in this game, in this tournament, you know, just uh, the nice legacy part of their skill, still managing to get them these high placements. So let that not discourage you, you know, like, uh, there's a lot of players who started late in Tekken 7 and started making like uh, big splashes like uh, like A.O. Richie, right, for instance, yeah. uh, just top of my head. UK player who did like amazing one big tournaments with the Leo and he only started playing in Tekken 7 and I think only uh, maybe season 2 or season 3. So that's just so, so, you know, if you start now and you put in the hours, put in the work, like everyone has to put in the work right now, you know, also these pros with like the new characters and all the changes. So, uh, you know, if there's any time to start, like as I think uh, the beginning of a new Tekken is a great place to do. So I did my so myself in Tekken 7 yeah. uh, and I've gotten uh, decent. <laughs> I'd like to think myself. OK, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's everyone play Tekken 8 and let's see this game grow and just uh, another nine years, you know, or how long did Tekken 7 uh, last? And seven, it was like seven years or something. Seven Speaking years. Seven, now yeah. let's do eight years for Tekken 8, all right? Eight years of Tekken 8. Let's yeah. go. We just, we are waiting on Degenerate right now. Um, you know, probably up to some degenerate stuff, taking uh, some time. Hopefully they'll be there in just a sec. I'm looking through my friend list. I know I have them on my friend list, but they're called something like weird. So I don't know if I can actually find them. Uh... It's always a tricky mix up when they do that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, my name was uh, didn't work sadly for my uh, for my display name, so oh. I had to go with Wim is too short because they didn't accept three characters. <laughs> I think that that's a good tack though. That's a good tack. I mean, let me. Yeah. Think that again. It's the first thing that came to my mind when I got the notice that it was too short. It's like, oh, Wim is too short. I guess I'll go Wim is too short then. <laughs> okay, they just rode on my way. <laughs> All right. Just got a Perfect. friend. Also, thank you, uh, Dave Darko, uh, claiming a code, and obviously Mitch, Oli Olsen as well. Yep. Oli even uh, pitching in with one of the sponsor quests, as you can do, which where you like or follow a certain person, and that also adds a few cents into yep. that price pool. Man, that tag in chat is good. All I do is whim. That's a good tag. <laughs> yeah. Um, or I win on a whim. A rock. Like with, uh, uh, w H I M. <laughs> if you change a different account or to a different account, uh, I think it should work. You can change your display name as well. I'm pretty sure. I don't know which login takes your government government name. One of them does. I think it's because it's tied to whatever account you logged in with. Man. Yeah, it's probably yeah, it's it's because it's Gmail, so it takes your name on Gmail. I think that's why. Yeah, yeah. Well, another character that seems sneaky uh, strong that I've played against a bit, but probably just me getting hit by gimmicks. It's it's King. That yeah, armor man is so annoying. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing with King, I feel, is like offline when people have labbed and practiced, his yeah. run mix-up isn't gonna be much because the throw is like 23 frames. I think that's definitely reactable. So then there's not too much to be that scared of of the running. So, But still, he has other stuff, so we're gonna see. And throws have definitely been buffed a bit. Okay, yeah. nice, here we go. Flash, guaranteed 14 frame. Again, Rainbow nice drop. break on the moon. Yep, yeah, just uh, attacked. Punishing. 
Right, one. one one punish. <laughs> Swabbing sides, <laughs> give back that P1. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice ride. Not respecting your bus frames at all, and that is kind of the thing you can do with Yoshi. Yeah, it's like as you say now, who really relies on like a lot of pressure in your face, uh, a move like Flash can definitely put in some work. Alright, stands. Oh yeah, just waits a bit, sees the Flash, then goes for the sweep. Nice duck! Oh man, the first hit whiffed and he actually managed to duck, but ooh, messed up there and the high power crush. Gonna take it one to one. Again, that move. The leg. Good. Nice punish. punish. Man, the walls are so far away in the Colosseum. Yep. Second uh, largest stage, I believe. It's like a 70, uh, so it's like 140 in length total. Yeah, that's amazing. It's, uh, it's, a, it's the biggest one than uh, Yokushima. Yes. That, that one is like, um, even like, it's like 110 each way or something. It's like insane. Yeah. Ooh, messes up the floats. No tornado. Oh, the wall splat from the running move. It already does so much damage and then you get a full wall combo. Yeah, I think it's interesting, right, how we, we don't That's have large. infinites. We have like pseudo infinites almost. But the wall carry is good enough even for this stage a lot of the time. I like it a lot more that you just have stages that are not infinite but very big, so people yeah. who want to play more defensive and run away, they can, but they're all, always going to have walls, which I like a lot more as a design. Yeah, I think it's a great design and degenerate. Getting that first game on the board going up 1-0. Yeah, he's already signing his signature. <laughs> Man, the uh, the outros and the intros for the characters, uh, you know, they put in a lot of uh, spice to uh, a lot of, with a lot of them. Yeah. Really like it. I think so as well. I think yeah, it's just the personality of this game, right? Definitely, you can see they had a much larger budget to, uh, to play around with than in uh, in seven. It's yeah, great. definitely it. shows. They were like smart and efficient though, because like all of the special intros are also like stuff from story mode, kind of. Yeah. Right. So. It's uh, Get ready smart the, the way they did that. Man, I love these uh, this artist uh, who does like these uh, these ones. Yeah, Very wow. cool looking uh, character panels. Absolutely. I think Tekken is cool. I think it's even worth uh, 50 bucks. Very very good game if you like fighting games. Yeah, and you won't have to pay a uh, $15 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume or something. Well, maybe yeah, if they add more costumes, right? That's the way they're going out. If it's part of like, the DLC wave with the characters, that's yeah. different, right? It's not like a... Oh, well, well, then it might be a separate thing as well, but no. Usually, like, DLC, like, the, the costume options were always, like, uh, free. <laughs> we had to pay for frame data, though. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> that was that, though. So, you know. Man, again, um, I forgot who, I think it was Rex who said this uh, stage theme here was a bit overrated. For me, I think this is uh, the best one in the game, so. Especially the final round on this stage, so good. Yeah. I just think it's like kind of cool, cause like, like, you know, Tekken takes place in the real world and you know, I've actually been like to Paris yeah. and stuff. So it's like, it's like kind of like, okay, yeah, I've, I've been here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, this stage also very small, right? Uh, definitely one I could see myself picking. Pretty vanilla stage. Yeah, it's a bit like uh, hmm, maybe like Mishima Dojo, bro. yeah, like the previous one, like just like big square. Yeah, this is how Paris sounds. Yeah. I also like the theme of like a lot of Tekken games having stages like yeah, the pool on a boat. It's not the first boat with that. Ooh, good whiff punch. Yeah, on the farm, you know, with them uh, alpacas. Ooh, there we go, getting that low. Getting a round on the board, okay. Again, the general got two more set points here to play with. You can't get ring out engaged. of those. That, that's in the virtual fight, you get ring out. 
and uh, Soul Calibur not on Tekken. Oh, again! That unteckable throw, man, doing work. Tornado gonna get the wall here. Hey, hey, hey! Nice damage. Down the hit. It's just like Josie done for that move. Yeah, it just feels more beefy somehow. Yeah, almost makes me wanna play uh, play her. <laughs> just down fouring people all day with Josie. That was the life. Ah, right, there we go. Degenerate. Signing off once more for the 2-0. So Degenerate moving on into our losers semifinals. Dave Darko unfortunately out of the tournament. And there, yeah. That means we are gonna move on to our final uh to bait losers match before we move back to winners. It's gonna be a Pika or Lil Furry. Is that his new tag? Is he like permanently changed? No, Lil Furry is someone else. So he's like probably at their place playing. Oh I see. This is not Pika. It's just a uh, Lil Furry. <laughs> I see. I've been calling it Pika all day, dude. <laughs> Damn. Well, I think Pika was writing in chat as it was like him playing, but maybe not. No, no, no. I mean, it's it's Pika is playing, but he's playing at someone else's place who is called ah, Little Furry. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'll yeah. get it. I'll get it. I thought it was like the other way around. No, no, it was Pika playing. Got that uh, day one victor <laughs> and the uh, and the Nina, of course. Yeah. So yeah, now it's going to be uh, the young men fighting, like Neon K and Pika. Yeah. Um, you know, again, huge shout out to Ben and Amkun Nordic, uh, supplying us with a lot of good stuff for our locals. So you can see this uh, the beanie I'm wearing, this Tekken 8 beanie. Um, we also got like a uh, some t-shirts uh, like last time, but these ones are really sick. They have like a really cool uh, gin print uh, at the back uh, of the shirt. But like uh, tote bags, we got um, beach balls to kind of use as uh, prices for our launch tournaments. So quite nice, quite nice. Uh, beach balls, I guess, because of be Tekken Ball coming yeah. back, right? Yeah, so it's like the same ones I think they had on the, um, on the Red Bull uh, event at that one. Cool. Um, so definitely, we, we're also going to have a, uh, a volleyball tournament, obviously, or a second ball tournament um, at our next like uh, monthly. So it's going to be like both the the normal Tekken tournament where we have like the the beanies, the t-shirts and such, and then we're going to have that Tekken ball tournament as well. So I need to lap that actually. <laughs> I haven't tried that mode yet, yeah, because you know just started, but uh, definitely going to play a bit. Uh, I think it seems fun to. Uh... Can you do it online, Tekken Ball, or is it only offline? I think I when I went, I saw like play versus CPU, play versus player, but I'm not sure if it's like an online as well for Tekken Ball. I wonder. It would be sad if you can't play it online against people. So we still. Oh, there we go. The NK right. has entered the fray. Excellent. Yeah. Pika against the NK. You can kind of see who has uh, played ranked the most <laughs> out of these two. Yeah. Well, let's see if that I, uh, yeah, I just got an orange as well, like you. Yeah. Uh, Muscle Vanquisher, yeah. Yeah, I just got to play it yesterday. One thing I really, really love. And I think for me that's even better because my friend list is fucking huge um, with, with Tekken players because we had to invite back in the day for seven. But the fact that you can see other people yeah. actually rank up on, on like your friend list where they are in ranks and you kind of overtaking them, I think that's very fun. It's 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 a it's very cool, yeah. yeah. I it's like just like that such well. a small just, thing, but it's fun. Yeah. Especially like you said, like if you've been playing, like you know, if you're already part of the Tekken community before, your friend list is full of people playing Tekken. So battle. it's just like uh, you know, you just see everyone on that ranking as you pass them, and yeah. it's it's pretty cool. Some direct competition, you know, like I'm not gonna get let this guy on my friend list uh, overtake me or whatever. Pretty cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
No! Well... The worst part is I can't even crash the lobby. <laughs> because the lobby's actually good now, so if I leave, they, yeah. they can still play. You just get a new leader, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Well, guess we gotta wait. That's the first time. Uh, so apparently that's a um, that's a bug in this game too. I see. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure it's a good match that we're missing, but that's, that's how it be sometimes. Yeah, we'll have to, you know, hopefully that'll be addressed in uh, later patches to just uh, make spectating work 100%. Would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can like, <laughs> I can leave the lobby and rejoin to spectate. Who knows? No, I don't think so. I think like once nope. it's. Oh, that was fast! Holy shit! Oh no! Okay. Oh, maybe I think they might have noticed and went like, "Oh wait, just uh, oh. walk forward and let's oh, try yeah, again." Yeah, yeah. Because that is a bit too fast. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a professional move in that case. Good stuff. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll just keep it, uh, you know, zero zero right now. Um, because yeah, that that seems to be too fast. Yeah. I don't think realistically playing a full match, Get ready you know, for the next battle. against someone who blocks at least some things uh, should be like that. But we'll see. This time it works. Perfect. Je vais mon charger. I hate that outfit. <laughs> Allowing outfit was a mistake, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> we have to go back. Pressure, nice step. Alright, right, down two. Gets the hit, heat engage. Wow, that beat the power crush. Power crush into heat dash. And down four, four, two into the EI. Oh, the counter hit, yes. Counter hit down for giving you that throw animation. First round, Pika. Nice little step there. Ah, he has better combos now. Wow, okay. Cool. Uh oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, 14 frames guaranteed with that counter hit move. The back two. A bit like flash in that sense, I guess. In this game. Oh, not as good uh, in terms of even worse hitbox. I feel. Nope. The Break on the take. throw. Yeah, I mean throws have been buffed and they do work, you know. I go down one action. Down two is such a good move. Zero on block. 18 frame mid, but huge range as well. Yeah, but that wild running move, such a good move as well. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the heat engager whiffing. That was very punishable on block. Kinda got away with it, to be honest. Forward forward two. Ooh, oh, second hit it. of yeah. that string. Yeah. The raven knee looking. I think that move is called like uh, the leaping gentleman or something like that. It's kind of funny to me. Alright, the big sweep low. Alright, fishing for the back three. Confirm! Oh, he didn't get the confirm. That would have been a wall splat probably, and does a lot of damage. Oh, he just finished it there, but no punish. Okay, throw! Uh oh. Heat as you say, now the pressure is going. Okay, get off me. Heat crush. Alright. A lot of chip damage from those sword moves, as you can see. Alright. Just down one plus two for the tornado. Not enough damage. Oh, this nice time Tex. Staying alive, Pika. Eight seconds left on the clock. Throw tag again. No! Oh, the sweep. Oh. And goes for the low on one second. Little he could do there with the time running out. Yep. First game 
Neon K. Yep, Neon K. Getting a lead here. Very, very nice. And we are playing for that spot in the loser semis, right? So I'm um, going to find that spot in top four for the winner here. The interesting that we had, uh, I think, a lot of upsets, but pretty much a whole top eight could be a top eight in Tekken 7 in, in previous sorties. Like, what a pre pretty common top eight, I think. Yeah, I can definitely see, like, yeah, Kane and Trench, Lacomi win this final. Like, that doesn't seem that far off, yeah, and then... Neon K in top 8, Pika in top 8, Generous, Don Jaeger, Evil. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, say, same familiar names. Just shows off, uh, you know, the legacy skill. Still applicable, which makes sense, right? Yeah. right here we go. Round one. I wonder if they're gonna actually bring out like, as you say, in a coffee beans as like a merch thing. Because man, they they, they do chill it, chill it a lot in this game, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad idea for character merch, honestly. If it was viable. Though merch with food stuff is always like a, a hassle, bro. But, I don't know. Anyway, just a small thought. Nice! Oh, wow. Yeah, shows off that knowledge. Making sure to duck the guns on that string and properly punish. And Look at all that chip damage. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, first round on the board. And Pika kind of struggling, right, um, to contain his offense. Oh, good punish. Yeah. You know, that low from Nina at that range, that's just like a classic way for her to try and sneak it on in. But it is launch on block. Nice little maneuvering, making sure the wall stays in the back of Neon K, but Neon K also smart and defensive. Nice duck! Neon K has got great reactions and, and knowledge on strings. Something he's always uh, shown off. Like every time you do like any kind of string with a high in it, you know, he's always gonna be able to get that punish. Those plays are always very tricky to, to play against, I feel like. <laughs> You're just scared, you know? Yeah. And if you play too safe, they'll just uh, open you up with less safe stuff of their own. Up the heat! Oh, look at the timer! Uh oh, okay, in the knockdown, not again, Pika. Do not let the slips through your fingers! Okay, this time. Watch us down. Or one. Guaranteed hit. And now at the wall. Time to lock it down with the knee now. Oh, bit too slow there on that punish though. Oh, the counter hit, heat engage, or normal hit, heat engage. A nice duck on the down for follow up. Yeah, punch pair. And the throw. Nice. Pika in the lead now. 2 to 1. Blocking. Both bats again. Very, very solid defensively here, right? And that's uh, pretty difficult in this game so far. Mm. Yeah, Nina can still swoosh back quite well with that sway. That's slide on in. Big counter hit. I think this should be a kill. No! no the drop! Yeah, it drops a combo, very unfortunate. There we go, peek out. Chance! Oh, that sweet block Neon K on set point here. Trying to make it out. Oh, that's sick. Wow. Hit throw. Yeah. Hit throws as well in this game look very, very good. Yeah, the camera work on all of the animations is like really good. Everything feels impactful. Life now, Pika needs to make this comeback. He's out the tournament, and that does it. Young K takes it 2 0 over Pika. Just like that. 
Yeah, Pika going out f fifth place, shared with the. Uh, who was on the other side? Evil? No. Uh, the. the uh, Dave Darko, yes, the Yoshi. Dave Darko, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But now, enough of the losers bracket. The match you've all been waiting for. We're heading into that winner's final where we have Kane and Trench versus Lakomi. Yeah. So, pretty interesting match. Obviously, uh, Lakomi, you know, used to be a uh, used to be an Alisa player, um, I believe, in uh, Tekken 7. Now, rocking that uh, Asusina again. Asusina character that seems like um, people favor at a high level um i i get it i get why <laughs> it seems good yeah just you know great great pressure character yeah in a game that's like focused around aggression having a character that is like very aggressive it you know it makes sense that she would be strong but yeah. i mean we'll have to see you know it's it's too early to really uh you know to just really say already like uh, what's what just think about how Tekken 7 started, you know, Dragonov and Jack. <laughs> and then <laughs> what became of that meta? Then Devilgen. Panda. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, the meta for 7 definitely changed a healthy amount, I feel like. So, yes. we'll never know. We'll, we'll never know how it turns out. We'll see. Hell, at the end of 7 now, people were like, Noctis is like top 5. I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I agree personally. But you know, it could be could definitely be an interesting decision on if interesting uh, discussion to have for sure. Yep, just waiting on the two fellas here to join. <laughs> yeah. Man, playing through the story mode, I'm not going to say any spoilers, but man, let me tell you, the, the game mode where you have to like beat them up, you know, like that stuff is like already known, right? But like that, that mode is really bad. Like maybe it's because of something I didn't understand, but you can't change target at least, I think. Mm -hmm. So if you're far away from your target, the camera like zooms out and then you have like guys around you beating on you and you can't see anything. It's, it's, uh, it's not a good time. Like, I played through story mode on hard, and let me tell you, I had, like, uh, certain parts there that were really, really difficult <laughs> for me <laughs> to complete. That, that, that's that's kind of interesting. Definitely. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, I'll, I'll have to play for myself. I uh, ensure Lakumi get, get some water. Get some water. That's still waiting on Kane anyways. But, yeah. Um, I... Uh, I, the only thing I've played is I played uh, Asuka's character story and I played like started the arcade story thing because I want the ghost to unlock. But, but I didn't play like main story at all so far. Yeah, it, uh, it was pretty cool. I had some funny moments as well, but also some stuff that's like, I don't know, cringy dialogue, but also like, just like, I don't know, there was like a part where two characters are saying something and then the other character says something but it was like literally just said before by the other character so it's like why, oh, so why it's is like, he um, yeah, you must stop writing... him before it's too late and they're like <laughs> ah before it's too late we must stop him <laughs> like that oh. no mm -hmm. it's like uh like oh i've lost like a part of myself and that's why i can't fight well and then the other guy is like uh, you you f don't fight well because there's a part of you holding holding you back or something and it's like well he just he just said that. <laughs> like, that that's a good OS though. Next time I lose uh, at a tournament, I'm gonna say that <laughs> I can't yeah. fight well. <laughs> I lost a part of myself. <laughs> that's good. That's like a super vague OS as well, you know. Yeah. Just say some chuny shit and just yeah. uh, throw that out there, you know, like, ah, oh, like, you know, I had to seal the power yeah. of my skill in my right hand or else, like, a great disaster would happen, you know. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. this damage is for. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's difficult playing in tournaments when you're only playing at 50% power, I agree, so. Mm, true. 
If I were to release more percentages of my powers, like the, uh, the ley lines of the land would overflow with my power and rupture, bringing disaster. So, release. gotta you know, gotta hold myself in there. You know, hold speaking, myself back. Speaking of disaster, we have a match Reno page, and it's kind of a disaster that we don't have all codes claimed yet. We have consistently around hundred viewers today. Me, in, you know, I speak good England. Don't worry about it. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got eleven codes left, chat. 11 100 people in here that doesn't make sense right there's only 50 total even and remember Wim will add personally 20 bucks to a price pool if we get all the codes claimed um that means if you mm -hmm. aren't that top three right you might as well get your homies to claim a code if you haven't you know call up your mom say hey mom you know i need some extra money go uh, claim code yeah one code per person, but One like if you person, have yeah. friends who are willing to uh, click on the link and log in, then yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's it's easy, right? You can uh, use uh, all kinds of things uh, for your login. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate, appreciate. So we now only need 10 more codes. Um, and once you're logged in, obviously you just press this button. You don't have to add your credit card. You don't have to do anything like that. It's just simply logging in, claiming a code. Um, so that way, you know, very easy, free way to help out the players, um, help out the tournament, right? Um, make it a bit exciting. Uh, first to three, first to three. Since it's the winners' finals, after all. Yeah. Thank you, Infinite Space as well. And uh, Sebastian, sure appreciate. I think uh, it's gonna be the same, right? In like official tournaments, like it's still gonna be first to two and first to three in the finals, though. They they might change like the format, yeah. but I, I, I think, think so. It's gonna be the same. Again, I think my guess is that the game right now it's day one. It's very fast paced, right? Once people get you know better grip of uh, defense, I feel like it's gonna slow down quite a bit. Um, it's a bit yeah. fast right now, but. Well, even so, we've had like timeouts today, right? Which yeah. were like interesting. That's true. I feel like the timer is very short in this game, actually. Yeah, it is shorter. Yeah. yeah, no, that's definitely true. Makes sense, though, with like the level of aggression and chip damage and stuff. Like, uh, if, they, if you want timeouts to be a possibility, you have to shorten the timer a bit with these uh, changes, so. Yep. But yeah, it's cool, though, like the way with chip damage and the healing on block, and then like you can see the percentage count. Yeah, Kane has been timing people out on stream today, yeah. yeah. Like, Yoshi also has, like, the, the healing from... Uh, like, Yoshi is, like, a character that can heal on his own, right? With, like, the, the meditation. It's, uh... Like, yeah. I remember, I know there's, like, a... Uh, like, a Yoshi player from the Netherlands, Sin. He, he does a lot of just, like, back turn healing and trying to bait the opponent. Like, that's his, like, game plan with Yoshi. Uh, and now, like, in, in, this, uh, in this game, like, uh, healing is even, like... Uh, more of a possibility with other stuff, so gonna be uh, gonna be cool to see how people uh, change up their ways with like these new systems as well. Just uh, a lot of uh, gameplay expression still possible, I think. So, you know, we've seen like the same as the Senas, but you can see some slight differences already. Like there's like basic ideas that are being shared. You know, like while wow, running 3-2 is a strong move. Yeah, and you know that's why you see that represented a lot, but. Even so, the, you can see some variation in, uh, in game plan and, and decision making already. Yeah, which is absolutely. always a fun part of Tekken, in my opinion. I do tend to agree. Okay, but you know, Kane, uh, both players have been riding, so they are on their way, uh, luckily. So we're just waiting a bit for Kane to show up. Um, it shouldn't take too long. We've got Lakomi in the lobby. Definitely. Again, I can't wait to. Uh, I need to get back to to playing. You know, just got. Uh, I don't know if I have the energy today, but definitely tomorrow I'm gonna grind. We've got a lot of uh, offline stuff coming up. I. Uh, I'm. You know, it's not a knock on anyone, but uh, you know, or tours. But I. I really like the fact that they. Um, they keep everything offline here for like World Tour events compared to like Street Fighter. I think that that was like. From personally for me very confusing the way that they did it with all the online events I, yeah i, I yeah. definitely really like that it's offline only um the way they added with the region stuff as well right like the first yeah. person of every region qualifies and then like 
the first players of the leaderboard qualified, so the finals are going to be a lot bigger, more people, which yeah, is going to be interesting. I think it's sick the way they, they did it. Um, having, again, then Dojo still play a role, right? Um, but it's like purely offline, and it just seems like it's a great experience. Uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to travel this game. Go 2-2, go two, two, cry, uh, and then you know, get drunk or something. Won't be great. <laughs> yeah, already a lot of cool tournaments uh, already announced. Uh, only the best, for instance. Yep. Yeah, it should be happening at a different venue, right, than normal. Yeah, Turin, so we won't have to walk to trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, nothing against Naples, but man, that city, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's, it, you know. A little, a little bit against Naples. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the venue was great, though, and the people also great. Uh, we had a lot of fun there, I still remember. Uh, oh. Yo, the, the pastries we got at the venue as well? Damn. Yeah, they were really good. Great food as well. Yep. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's actually yeah, a tournament I'm looking at, right? Different battle. venue, always nice going to Italy. Again, the food always great. Um, could be, could be quite interesting. All right, well, here we go. We are finally at our winners' finals. Remember, chat. This is first to three, so we've got a lot of good ass tech in. This costume is so sick, man. It's way too cool. Has no business being this cool, man. Kind of looks like a modern like. Power Ranger or Kamen Rider like yeah. outfit. I think it they looks like very modernized worse version of uh, Tekken 3 on this game a little bit. Yeah, like the the head shape, skull implications, yeah. It's just very cool, yeah, very cool. Yoshi, hella sick. The the tentacle one was a bit weird, you know, more weird than cool. Yeah. This one, all style baby. I think they, they peaked with like the weird and cool with the with like when it was like Tekken 4 when he was a beetle. Yeah, the beetle outfit was super cool. Like, uh, beetles are cool, honestly. So yeah, makes sense. Oh good block. Yeah, I like the decision. You know, took the first down, knew he was gonna go for it again. Got that down block. Okay, into the stand, spin away. That is an option he has. Yeah, Yoshi still has like great defensive tools with the spin and the flash. Which is very interesting against a character who is like all about the uh, offense, the stance offensive while running. Oh, I get out of there. And nice. The wall. And now we start the shenanigans. Big damage. Nice movement though by Lakomi. Immediately sneaks his way away from that wall. Yeah. Ooh, no punish, but still gets the back turn. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, he knew. Yeah, he knew that was an option there. Alright, avoiding the puddle. Still in that game. Still has that move. Speaking of ATP, uh, I wonder if Ares is uh, also enjoying Tekken 8. Hope so, hope so. Yeah. Can't throw. Oh, good tech there. Kane in a bit of trouble. Again, another. You can see that he's a you know, very experienced old school player, right? Taking all those throws. The reactions on deck. No sword stance. Nope, never mind. It's back. Not enough damage with the heat crush. Heat crush of his own to regain a little bit of health, but the downfall one check. Two rounds, Akomi. Yep. Akomi now in the lead. You need to hit the ground there. <laughs> Akomi, like, does he know? <laughs> oh, wow, there's a follow up. So, yeah, does he know? <laughs> yeah. Just keep Man. using that move, dude. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the PM, dude. <is> like, <laughs> do you know? Yeah, we yeah. just. I nah. mean, this is what the uh, early Tekken, like early launch Tekken, is all about, right? Like, yeah. like te teaching uh, Kane the matchup as we go. Or, like, let me just spam the sick move, you know, see if you, <laughs> see if you know. <laughs> yeah. And great spacing there, and you know, he knew to duck for that second hit. So he could punish. Hey, 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 big damage. Oh, that's very punishable. But yeah, the Yoshi in him has to flash the screen kick. There's no other way. Oh, a bit of trouble. Oh, <laughs> Not like this, dude. It's OK. 
Kane parting a little bit, you know, right back at you. Nice hop kick. It, it looks like a hop kick, but <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't it's quite a... get the combo there. And that, you know, against something early growing pains, some of those combos, you don't quite have the muscle memory in the weirdest situations, right? Um, yeah, you know, you, you've seen some Twitter clips with like insane yeah. combos, but on like a specific setup, but it's like, yeah, there's gonna be a while before people are like uh, consistently pulling out like the right options to get like yeah. carries and re wall splats and what have you. But, yeah, not, uh, not me panicking when I get like a wall break and my character starts running and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 or you get like one of the, the stage like intractables. Um, yeah, like they... when, when that happens to me, I'm like thinking, did I use the tornado battle, spin yeah. already or didn't I? <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, I that's why I do as well. <laughs> react accordingly i do think it's sick though right when you just hit the explosive barrel or whatever you just get so much damage yeah like i can't wait for like the stage meta to really pop like people having like really preferred stages for certain characters like yeah. i know like victor for instance has his command grab breaks floor so it, it makes sense maybe to go for a floor break stage if uh, the command grab works a lot against people yeah, there's that so, stage yeah. on uh, on like the moon with like the volcano ground, whatever that explodes. Um, I know certain characters if you throw, it like bounces them up because it throws the floor. Yeah, which is uh, you know almost better than a floor break. Um, so that's gonna be pretty good. I played against King on that stage and that was hell. He got so oh, much yeah. damage. Yeah, King's Heat Smash is like crazy. It's like his old Rage Drive essentially, but like it's a combo starter, but only on uh, on those stages. Rainbow Drop, it's like big crazy damage. Either Lawrence, Inspired is here. Another one. This one is Tekt. Oh, that looks like you've got something guaranteed. Oh, Heat. Chip away at that health. Alright, spin away. Ooh, that looked cool. Yeah. That flying kick into the helicopter is like really cool. And you know, you can not go into the helicopter as well. Alright, next uh, regular. Nice getting the float there. Uh tried the I think Kupuki knee, but didn't work out. Alright, no sword sands. Oh. Just for a little bit. It, ooh, standing it. Oi! Just moved right last second and uh, Kin and Trench. The timing. Unlock. Yeah, speaking of time, it's running out, but that running move though. Yeah, it's gonna very, be very a good lot and of Komi just needs one hit. Good luck. So ready for that. Okay. Solid. Yeah. I mean, you know, he has the throw. He has that low. I'm not sure if he has like a proper mid launcher from the helicopter. So Ducky might not just be bad against most options. Yeah. That's a good point. Float. Can't convert. Punch for Bukini. And the distance was interesting with like him being back turned, it pushed him really far. Yeah, it did, it did. Both best in heat. Yikes, the damage. Heat smash. Alpha one doesn't quite. Yeah. I am I'm, I'm seeing with a lot of characters that it's it's pretty viable just to raw heat smash, at least right at the end. Uh, something I need to look into. Frame wise. Okay. Yeah. Did you see Asusena's head in that slow mo? Just like elongated, it looked really weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're spinning. Spin to win, baby. And the plus frames into the plus frames. Oh, this yeah, time. I like, uh, I like he did like 1 4 there after it because he knew like that would still beat the flash. So it has to do quicker moves on plus frames. Nice ad adaptation. Punish. Oh, oh, the fairy. Oh man, Yoshi is always such a fun thing to watch as a spectator. But yeah, there we go. Kane and Trench 2-0 now.
moving into set point from now on. Majesty is one more. Lakomi starting to sweat in a bit of trouble. Yeah, always putting up a good fight though. Like um, a lot of these rounds are very close. Yeah. You think in like in such an aggressive game that it just like most rounds would be steamrolls is what people were thinking. But you can see definitely like these tools they can also be used to get you get the opponent off and get you get held back and stuff like that. So you do see there's always like a bit of a back and forth at least. Yeah. Oh, there we go down for two. Start for Lakomi. Okay, that has a second hit. Let's count the hits. I see. Oh. And uh, Chungi Lowride has been doing a lot of work for uh, Lakomi. Well, Kane has been very, very good at uh, getting these comebacks. Not this time, then. <laughs> yeah, wahoo! <laughs> I like the, uh, you know, Asuka when she gets hit. It, it sounds like she's just like, damn! <laughs> so good. Oh. Good, really good voice acting, right, in this game as well. Yeah, I mean, Victor's voice actor is awesome, you know. Like, yeah, I know he played like in Ocean 12 and stuff, but I know him from like, uh, Lahain. And uh, two, oh, okay, Lakomi. Certainly getting some rounds back on the board. He's one more, and uh, be very, very good for him. I mean, still getting three in a row against Kane, definitely not going to be easy. I went for the mid that time. Nice spacing on that low there. That was really the tip to get that hit in. Ah, uh, he knew that was a second hit. Oh, nice! Yeah, in the back, you can't block it there. So he gets the launch from the back to one. Yeah. Oh, no punish. Back to two. Like, she has, like, like it looks like Bob down back one plus two that launcher, right? When he goes very low and does, like, an uppercut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of see that. Yeah, it really reminds me of that move. Man, I miss Bob. Bob and Tekken 8 would look sweet as hell, I bet. Yeah, I think so. I mean, wouldn't surprise me if that was a DLC character down the line. It was fairly popular, right, during uh, Tekken 7, so... Yeah, people always like Bob. As... I want to see him, uh, like, return and be, like, a proper superhero now. Just yeah. like a superhero costume on. <laughs> oh, gets the back turn. Boom. He then gauge. Man, Kane on a tear here, looking to come back again. Great stepping, great movement here. And a, and flash. a flash. That's it. What a comeback. Okay. Taking them out. 3 0 here, Kane and Trench. Looking very, very solid. 3 0. Bang. Okay. Yeah, guaranteed uh, second place at the very least now for Kane and Trench. Yeah, I mean, we got top three payouts, so uh, now guaranteed some good money. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, seven codes remaining. Yeah, seven codes, chat, please. I implore you, claim a code if you haven't. Help us out. Yeah, if all codes are claimed, I will be adding a big 20 bucks into that price pool. Yeah, so with that, we would be at like 80 bucks or something like that. That'd be quite good. Yeah. And if anyone else feels generous, they can also toss in a few bucks of their own if they want to. But yeah. uh, if not, at least claim that code if you haven't already. Show your support. We have enough people here for sure. So yeah, if you're enjoying these games, enjoying the spectacle, please yeah. uh, support these amazing players. Might as well, might as well. All right, so obviously it looks like like this. Once we pull it up, the old match, you know, 
Um, it's quite easy, right? Uh, all you have to do is log in. Uh, you can use, if you don't have an account, uh, you can actually make one using pretty much any sort of social media, even Battle.net, online, uh, Gmail, you know, the Twitter account you're watching on right now. Also works on the phone, by the way, if you haven't done it. Um, and yeah, all you have to do then is just uh, log in, press this little blue button, claim code, and it will be claimed completely free. Um, so nothing like that, it's, you know, quite easy. Um, and you know, we got, we got two minutes anyways that we're waiting, right? So you might as well do it while we're waiting, um, just to get that little bit of extra money in. It's almost a uh, $2 sitting there just unclaimed. And you know, again, the more money we can get to these hype players giving us so many good games, the better. Yeah. Speaking of good players, we got Dejan and Neon K in the house here yep. in the lobby. I, I feel like this might be. Is this a run back? Question mark. Hmm. It is actually. And Degenerate took out Neon K two to one last time. Oh yeah. And then he lost to Lakomi. Yeah, yeah, I see it here in the bracket. So yeah, this is a run back. Uh, it's also first to two, like their first set. So let's see if. Uh, if Dejan can repeat his victory, which was a 2-1 yeah. against Neon K. Right, so we're still waiting a bit. So last time I think Neon K was playing um, playing the Jun in this matchup. We'll see if that yeah, I likes to pull out the Jun against the Azusena, doesn't want uh, the mirror. Yeah. Just wants to use like the knowledge they have of the character and then bring out the Jun to counter it. Yeah, we'll see if this works to start, you know, obviously lost last time. Yo, sticky PM with the with the code. What's good my man? Been a long time since I seen Sticky PM around. Yeah. That was like a name you saw a lot uh, a couple years ago with Salty. Like Four, four years ago, five years ago, maybe. Yeah, I say a couple, but yeah, man, yeah. we've been doing this for a while, huh? <laughs> true, true. Uh, uh, midnight Siege. Oh, you, you can't see if they picked random stage, huh? Like, you don't do the question mark thing. Double OG, yeah. Okay, this time, going for that Assassina mirror match here. Yeah, here we go. Coffee versus coffee. Yeah. How it should be, right? Coffee always wins in the end. <laughs> I'm a T. I'm more of a T man myself. But... Yo, T man. Where is T man actually? Oh yo yo! Oh boy. Hope that's just on my end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope so as well. <laughs> Somebody, I think somebody's PC might have been blowing up for a second there. No, the least. problem is it's like UK versus UK connection, yeah. you know? That's like the worst, right? It's like the, the, the worst of the UK against the worst of the UK, you know? It's just, yeah, that just completely messes it up. I mean, when, when I've seen... Uh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> when I've seen that happen, though, in the past, it's usually someone's PC uh, struggling a bit. Yeah. I like you can see that, right? Um, now, if it's a PC or not. That makes the testing a whole lot easier. Yeah, I mean in Tekken 7 you didn't need to, right? You knew where you were playing on and there's no crossplay. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's but true. Yeah, it's cool. I mean... Yeah, in Tekken 7 you could play like without dropping frames in, on like a 1060, you know, so <laughs> it didn't really yeah. matter much. Oh, I'm rocking that 4080, just big beefy. I mean before the 1060 I had like a 600 something, I think. And 670, I think, and it, it, it ran Tekken at, like, ultra settings. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It is a lead here for Nian K. Nian K saying, hey, you know, I might have lost first time, but my Asuna is at another level than my Jun right now. Uh, pressure, pressure. Oh, ducks on there. And there uh -oh. we go. Bang. Explosion. Round four. Again, this stage is very fun in that way. Um, that feels, you know, it's kind of random. 
if you if you get to explosive barrels or not, right? It's like it's not really that often it happens. Yeah. I like the toilets on the wall. <laughs> it's like let's go take a piss, huh? <laughs> let's go. You might need that mid, mid battle, you know, it's a nice, easy, accessible spot. Oi oi oi. Slow down. At least the soldiers in the background don't slow down. They're still firing. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, last hit doesn't quite work there. Not the low running Man, in. And the sweep does so much damage. Okay. Again, just a little tap right. Two, two. I also, again, I really like, you know, when you're at the final round, you have left, you know, characters angry or something. It's always fun. Yeah. This again gives a little bit of uh, life into the game, a little bit of personality that we didn't really have before. Yeah, it was always like the same, you know, round start. Hook. The only thing that's changed was the stage and the music, but now the character is also a bit more expressive. The special character intro is also a lot cooler now. Oh. There we go, Neon K with the seven golden letters. Ba boom. Ah, boom. The golden pen as well, really fitting with the outfit. Okay. So, um, well now Neon K, again, first to two situation here, so it just needs one more win. And that's it. Yeah, this is our last first to two of the day. We're already there. So yeah, let's uh, let's see. Can Nian K win this second game, or are we gonna have some more action with Dgen equalizing? But yeah, it was a final final round situation. Though Nian K did get a nice perfect at the end there, but overall it is going both ways really. Which is fun to see. Man, the uh, the top eight graphic is gonna be very uh, Azucena heavy, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thinking about it. It is. It is definitely. Um... We just, uh, there were some issues, obviously, you can see, so we're just um, trying to run a test on that real quick. So we have like one test match, um, in general, we'll try and restart the game uh, real quick. Uh, all right. We'll be back in just a second while we wait again. Okay, so they're not going to run a test match. It's just going to go with... Um, it looked like maybe computer... Like, I don't know if it was internet or PC issues. I was thinking it might be um, PC issues. That's at least how it looked when, like, the, the slowdowns were happening like that. Because of PC issues and when, when I've played the little I've played in lobbies. Um, so we're trying to run only just default costumes now. I, I'm thinking it might be all the extra sparkles and stuff on the uh, Astrocena costume maybe causing it. I don't know. Yeah, you can also like turn down effects and stuff in yep. uh, the options. That is also an option uh, if your PC is struggling uh, with those particle effects. Because in yep. Tekken 7, like if, it, if there was problems, there was usually like particle effects as well on certain stages for people with really potato PCs. Yep. Uh, I think in the beta, a big thing was like the shaders not being like properly compiled, so they had to like be built up every time. Which caused like a lot of uh, issues for PC people in the beta, yeah. while PlayStation people had no problems really. Yeah, it was weird. My PC is pretty pretty okay, and I the first time I launched the game, it was chunking a bit, like 
Yeah, I and had to build them all up. All the yeah. machines. And then after that, no problem. It was just like the first 20 minutes, chunking a bit, like in character selecting stuff. I had not nothing in game. It was just like kind of lacky when I uh, select a character and stuff, which was odd. But yeah, here we go. Hopefully this one will be better. This stage also interesting, right? You have the explosive walls all around. Yeah, it's like arena, but after midnight. You know? Yeah. That's where the adults go to fight. <laughs> Rolling down for one checking, warning wild three two man. That throw. Ooh, okay. Seeing a little bit of that uh, stance coming to play. Yeah, the high counter. And first round goes to degenerate. Like with any, like I had the same gripe with Street Fighter. I really wish you could uh, remove like the info at the bottom, you know? Oh yeah, when you're spectating. So. Yeah, 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 I wish you could just remove that. Maybe a, a mod will do it or something. Yeah, remove uh, spectator UI. Yeah. They should just have a button, right? Like a button turn off and turn on. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that maybe it exists and I don't know, you know. But <laughs> one to one. That one. That I oh, no mind. It's fine. Maybe it's because my uh, my I move, slightly moved my pad on my mouse or something. Yeah, I had some uh, slowdown on the Discord chair, <laughs> and then I sped up to ca catch up to it, which was funny looking. As a Sena going like 100 miles per hour. Boom. Yeah. I had the float. Tornado. Can he get the wall? No. Bit short there, but oh, the wall running move, re splat, wall combo. Ooh, last oh, last hit whiff. And the low. Room. All right, set point here. Nyan K looking for that place in the loosest final. Dijin obviously trying to stop him, right? Trying to get that spot for himself, but it's not looking good. Okay, while running, there we go. <laughs> Bro, it's so cheap. The wall. It's so cheap. Please, to the wall. Boom. Again, looks so good. Uh, the hit throws. Okay, and that actually kills Stang. 2-2. Two, two. Again. With Neon K gonna do a perfect again? <laughs> nope. No perfect. It's impossible now. Again, you know, close games here between these two. Oh, he's tried to go into stance, but um, not having it hit Legion, just uh, straight up launching. Yeah, I think again that wild running move. Doing so much work. And it is 1 2 1. Degenerate staying alive, just barely. Yeah, now into the final game between these two. Who is going to go down fourth place and who is going to get that guaranteed moolah? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's true. Meaning. The winner of this match is guaranteed money. Yeah. At least, what, six, six dollars? <laughs> you could help him code chat. Uh, if you do, you know, it might be a little bit more extra money. For yeah, six more codes. And when those codes are gone, I will put in a big 20 buckaroos myself. So if you want to see get these players get rewarded battle. a bit more. Ooh, okay, interesting. Gotcha. Going with the switch here. Yeah, it's like uh, Neon K is very known for that, right? A, a seven as well, just changing up the character. You know, take an L, okay, time to swap. Next one. Round one, fight. I think final round state in, in this uh, stage very very good music as well. One of my yeah. uh, surprisingly favorite tracks, I think. Yeah, uh, I mean the first one very good. As well. uh, they've grown on me. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, like the, uh, the the character art. It's like June with Azucena blend <laughs> yeah. for Neon K. Oh, that's true. It's like okay, well, those two characters are coming. Okay, no Ooh. tornado. Hey. No. No. Oh. Big 
gem Wait. on there. I never noticed a UFO in the background. What the fuck? <laughs> no? <laughs> then I remember someone, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like game one or something. I remember in like older Tekken games, there were like a, oh! like soup, a lot of UFOs hidden. <laughs> At least the alpacas can move. <laughs> oh yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yo, what is going on? Jeez. Yeah. We chunking. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're back. Man, yeah. I, is that like a, a pad disconnecting maybe? Or like the, the internet just having a bad time? I don't know. I don't know, like we've seen these two players before, they're yeah. playing against other people, they've played against each other before and then I think there was no issue, so... Yeah. I don't know, maybe there is like uh, an internet issue for the area for one of them all of a sudden. I have I mean, no clue. I mean, um, there wasn't any issues in the other match before this, right, where they had the false yeah. costume, so I'm really thinking it's that the aura uh, on the costume doing it. Maybe? I don't know. Like, we've seen uh, the aura before with, like, Neon K on that Jun, and there was no issues then against yeah, other but players. I think it might be, uh, it was Dijin's PC acting up a bit. Ah, so Dijin has, like, a potato PC, baby. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. That, that's just what it looked like. Right? Because maybe you should ask people their uh, their scores, you know? Yeah, like, <laughs> minimum, <laughs> minimum score to enter the tournament. No, minimum <laughs> score to pick customs or something? No potato yeah. PC? Okay. Well, then probably just internet. Yep, UK internet to UK internet. You know, again, as yeah, that's like the worst to the worst. You know, yeah, as Web said, yeah, it couldn't be worse. <laughs> Is that UK online players? You know, always a nightmare for me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rolling tree pressure. Big old chunky low. Two to two. Final final round, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever wins this round is gonna get the moolah and at least third place. Whoever loses is gonna be ooh, fourth place, barely missing the podium. Okay, so. Running again, boom! Beats me. Oh, oh and that's ah. it! Oh Let's my it. goodness, man! You you would think like you could just throw jabs more and try and float her out of it. Like like you did with Fakaram's knee. I don't know if that's an option, but man, that move is just uh, the star of the show right now. And uh, yeah. Weird. Uh, but yeah, Dijen takes it two one over Neon K. That means we are gonna have. Oh, okay. So now Neon case PC flashing red. So it was some PC stuff. It looked like interesting. In any case, um, yeah. That means we are ready for our losers finals. First to three, Lakomi up against the Jaren. Obviously, first time these two fought, it was Lakomi, right? In a mirror as well, taking it two to zero. Oh. Might be different this time around, right? First three, very, very different. Yeah, a bit more time to adapt to one another. Yeah. yeah. Pretty happy with the way uh, they're <laughs> loading like right how... now. Like, uh, you know, it takes a while to get the pe people in the lobby, but yeah. the, the loading, quite quick. Uh, as long as the, uh, the spectating doesn't break, but you know, we've only had the issue once today, right? Yeah. So overall, uh, pretty, pretty content. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's just a growing pains issue where people, they're not used to, you know, the things they have to do to get into the lobby. Uh, mostly, mm. um, I think once we, you know, you can already see it's getting faster, right? People are getting used to it, how we're doing it. Um, I, I think, you know, if we will look in a month time, I think it's going to be much more painless um, to enter lobbies. I love how Turkey is uh, is pre propping up his bro in chat. Yes. <laughs> DJ has a beast gaming PC and now he's going to win another Asumira. It's like, damn. <laughs> okay. When he isn't playing Tekken 8, he's using his PC for quantum mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> he's calculating. Man. I've seen like those quantum computers, those things are crazy. They have to like uh, cool them like sub-zero. 
for them to fucking function. It's like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty damn technology, huh? So we finally have the technology to uh, to run Crisis on uh, on you know best settings. Love to see it. No, no, not best. Maybe like high Get ready high for settings. The next battle. <laughs> not ultra. Go. Fight. Like, ooh. Oof. Good start, DJ and down for a two though. From Lakomi A A A. Yeah, okay, my explosion to go. Ooh, taking throw very nice. Oh, but the side switch though, not that great. Stuck at the wall now. Oh, Rage. good choice, I think. Hard, yeah. Very nice choice. Yeah. I think you need to do like a very fast option from stance there. Do not just get blown up by Rage Art. And this played a role, I remember, in the last set they played, right? They actually Rage Art quite a bit, both of them. Round <laughs> two. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, obviously, we ordered the uh, collected edition from uh, Japan, had a Japanese friend order this for us. So we're going to get that uh, Asasina coffee cup. <laughs> Very important. Oh, Lost already. Alright, here we go. Heat crush. Heat's active. Well, Egen's on his last life anyway, so Akomi, you gotta take the second round as well. Yeah. Yeah, wrong. I just now noticed. Oh, good stab there. Wild running 3 2, bro. Please. I mean, we're just gonna have to learn to deal with the move, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, we already saw Kane kind of do it, right? Um, stepping yeah. around it quite a bit. I think or preemptive stepping. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is going on there? Bit of a speed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end, man. It's like, what the fuck? What? Next game, let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had a bit of a waiting time earlier. It's like, <laughs> skipping ahead. Here we go, right. getting ready to Get spectate, ready but yeah, overall battle. I'm pretty happy, honestly, about the lobbies. Um, again, we got the small kinks that needs to be worked out. Again, I would love if we could have the, the rematch button on and not disconnect from spectating, that would be great. Um, but apart from that, working very well. When that starts working, it's going to be really, really good, I think. Go, we good step by Lakomi. Okay, hey. Chunky. Nice first round here for a Polish Asusena player. Fight. Oh, man, oh, man. Launch. Just taking all the frost flames in the world. Yeah, nice, nice punch, punish on the way back. Hey, hey. Uh, the pan food band in the background going wild. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, it's her home. Where are you going? Right, so. <laughs> it's flying. <laughs> oh, and the little float there. Lakomi looking good right now. A bit of a punish. Uh, 
Perfect. Wait a second. Okay, okay. There's still some life left here. Dejan's eyes. Nice switch does there. Now the trade made sure that combo didn't work. Oh my god. The fact that it like crushes highs as well and the instant while running it's crazy. It's crazy. The UFO is lifting off. Okay. Was looking pretty rough here for Degenerate for a second right, but suddenly 2-2-2 two to two, Lakomi. Trying to sweat a little bit. Okay. Just uh, chipping some damage off the leg there. Crush, heat smash, nice block, rage, but that, yeah, only three codes left, chat, until we get to that $20 additional bonus. Definitely want to claim a code. Just like uh, your good old pal Gay Fetus there. Thank you, thank you. What, uh, what attack, <laughs> what a name. <laughs> well, on Twitch, he's fruity. Yeah, fruity, yeah. Oh. Um, so Dijen is uh, leaving the session. Hey, Hula, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are you going to uh, come offline to any of the Danish events? Because, um... Yeah. And Hellman, thank you, thank you, Hellmans. So we got one code left, chat. One single code. Hell yeah! I mean, we got a uh, we got an event in Aarhus right uh, on the tenth. So uh, thing. And that FGC nerd with the final code. Love to see it. Like to generate, just writing something in chat. We'll see what it is. Sec. Also, gotta say, like the the menu theme, quite good. Both the online menu theme and the uh, standard menu theme, right? Definitely a huge upgrade from uh, second uh, second seven. Yeah, I'm pretty damn pleased with all the music so far. Yeah. Oh, we back. One, one. Wow, thank you, that FGC nerd, for the $3, adding in a bit of his own money there, as he claimed that last coupon code. Very nice. Yeah, and also big shout outs yeah. to Wim for the big 20 bucks. Thank you, Wim. Yeah, no that problem. Wim guy, you know, seems kind of, seems like a, seems like a pretty nice guy, but, you know, looks might deceive, who knows. But yeah, that means yeah. we got 86 dollars and 84 cents thank you very much wim uh that fgc nerd and uh obviously um chat right chat, yeah. for uh, getting in clutch with those coupon codes yeah and uh Kelsifer. let's see that every week everyone yeah. good job else as well Who's... donating one dollar to the price pool so yeah got a pretty nice price pool going here Get ready for the almost 100 battle. bucks right so definitely gonna be pretty good payday for uh, top three yeah, you can give yourself a pat on the back, chat. Yeah, you did good. I mean, first place can literally buy a pad, probably. <laughs> Just buy a pad. Yeah. <laughs> after begging them, after uh, getting uh, frustrated. <laughs> yeah.
from eating so many while running 3 2s. <laughs> yep. I mean, I heard that those break easily, right? So you might might need some extras. Yeah. I mean, as I say, no, definitely rage inducing because we even see Tekken pros like rage quitting, right? If you saw that on Twitter <laughs> with Joe Crush. <laughs> Man, that Twitter thread. People also like going into the replay and showing like, oh, you could have done this and this. It's like, yeah. damn, that's like, that's next level, you know? <laughs> that's like taking eight. It's so toxic. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Oh, man. Oh, right, nice pressure here as always. That's what she's known for so far. Not the wall stand. Man, I, I hate characters that have like a wall standing four that has like a second hit to it. Oh, that's always it's like ah, It's like Lydia, right? Like Leo. Right. Gen just turning up the heat, just running low, running low. Ooh, nice. Gets the counter hit. Gets hit. Second. Never mind. Man. It, it, I, I love that Gen has while running 3-2 in like the character panel, you know, like Panther yeah. before set it as well. But man, that's, uh, that's genius, you know, yeah. to be honest. That's genius. That is good. That's uh, good fun. Yeah, Gain should have like flash, right? Yeah. Like if you're a Yoshi player, you need to have flash there. <laughs> you know, if you're truly, you know, a, a real old school player, you don't have anything there. Like uh, Lakomi. The, right, yeah. the, oh, the name switched again. Um, that's like truly not having it. Yo, that FGC nerd with a $14 donation. Thank you very much. Absolute. Goat right there, that means we actually are over 100 bucks. Wow, the full Benjamin. The full Benjamin. Okay, Rage Arts. We don't see too many Rage Arts, huh? Thinking about it like this stream. It's actually true, like, uh, people are reluctant to spend their Rage Arts. It's actually quite interesting. They don't have a rage drive either, right? So it's not like an either or case. I think it's just people they, you know, maybe they don't think about it or have like the optimal combos for it. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, focusing, maybe hyper focusing on the new mechanic, right? Yeah. It's either that or like people usually get killed before they get like a good opportunity to use it because they're like either so low that like they would they wouldn't even be able to take a hit so rage art as like a defensive option then you know if you can't armor to anything doesn't make a lot of sense oh there we see a counter hit throw yeah. though let me the tell buff you. on throws is very nice in my opinion like it makes a nice little rock paper scissors system with the power crushes and stuff i've been hit by my fash uh, share of counter hit throws feel bad every time dude yeah. Especially, you know, I'm asked, I try to reverse a lot of something, just throw me and I'm like, I, I cry. Yeah, guaranteed. It's, it's yeah. really nice. It's like a proper counter now against, like, uh, yeah. against a character like you. Which is also like a good buff for King, right? Like, you yeah. know, 10 frame giant swings coming out, the opponent is trying a power crush or a reversal. Ooh. Just has to eat that. Okay. okay. You win. La Omi! 2 to 1. Yeah, it's nice that like everyone has different costumes, right? So it's it's, it's very easy. Like I know, like oh, this is the DJ Azucena. Yeah. This is Lakomi uh, Azucena. That was the Neon K Azucena. It's uh. That's also why I traditionally like to um, like to allow costumes uh, in the games because it allows you know since it's there, it's just a bit more play expression. Uh, it takes a long time to rematch because um. We have to go out to lobby every time because if you want to spectate, it's bugged right now. So there's actually an option that they can just Get first to two and keep playing. Battle. Just press to keep playing. Um, but the issue is that's broken right now. So if they do that and if I have it activated, uh, my spectating will disconnect and I'll crash out. Uh, so I'll have to rejoin and rejoin the spectating, which takes a long time. So it's, it's like better... To do this one, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so not a big deal. Forced to run first to once. Yeah, it's first to <laughs> once. In it's like not meant doing. to work this way. Yeah. Uh, Guilty yeah. Gear Drive actually, speaking of, had exactly the same issue. Um, 
exactly the same issue um, to begin with. So hopefully, like Strive, it gets patched out eventually. Yeah, I mean, I, I imagine like the spectating isn't something they had like a super ton of yeah. testing done compared to other parts of the game. Yeah. Oh, nice! Well, it's just a small punish though. Nice, the down forward two there. Coming in clutch. Hey, hey, hey! Oh man, the heat dash as well. Oh, the sway back blow not quite working, but yeah. the down four will seal the deal one to one. Fight. Yahoo! Hey, wahoo! Exit throw. That doesn't do much though, and the low! Okay, 2-1. Where are you going, Asusena? Please! All that coffee is making me go fast. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we're having, you know, we have Kane in the grand final waiting. <laughs> not not yeah. as a sinner. <laughs> too, too much coffee, you know? Yeah, too much coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's, also good. it's a bad thing. Going in. we getting a throw. Look at the damage. No, thank you. No punish, but doesn't matter. Still get and the low. It seems like a round under they like doing the little low high string. Yeah. Ah, yeah, well, pull me on set point now. Nice, good punish. Again, yeah, it's also difficult to, to punish if they whiff, right? Because they just fly like off the screen. Yeah, most people punishing it just make the mid whiff barely yeah. by backdashing or making space and then ducking the high. It seems. So they uh, stay on the same axis and it's just like you dock a big high. Okay, now we're gonna tie it up here, 2-2-2. Two to two. Yeah. Alright. Very, very interesting match. Let's see where we are going, what stage. I think um, Lakomi has been fearing the infinite stage. A little bit, so I think we are gonna go. What's uh, what's it called? Sugishima, Su Sushima. Yeah. Uh, what was it now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I forgot. I know it ends with Shima. Yakushima. That means Yakushima. Yeah, oh, it means no. island. So I, I don't know what Yaku is. So. Like in, uh, I know in Japan you have like Nikoshima, where it's the island where they have like all those cats, right, running around. It's pretty cool. How about Yaki? I mean, there's some deer around. Maybe it's deer, you know? No, deer or something else. Ooh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody Google Yaki real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, Yaku. Yakushima. Yaku. Yeah. Oh yeah, I no, Yaki. Yaku is like, uh, in Mahjong, it's like the... Is that Yaku that you have? Like for point scrolling? Maybe. Ooh, good block! Degen! One yeah. round here, in the lead. Good block. Good throw. Yeah, Evo's gonna be wild, I agree. Tekken, you know, one thing I don't like about Street Fighter is that they're taking like one whole year to patch anything when clearly the game is not very balanced. Uh, Tekken never really been, you know, afraid of changing stuff around. So I think yeah. we might have a bit of a different game before EVO. I don't know how long they're going to keep it. If they're going to change, like just adjust something before EVO or if you're just going to have this for most of the season. Do we have like a disconnected pad or something? Might be. I've been having issues in this game actually, where my controller disconnects a little bit. Oh, oh why? Uh, I don't, I don't have it so far with my controller. Ooh, there was yeah. one I think like uh, to be honest, like I think it'll take uh, a bit, a bit longer before they would make changes now, yeah. Yeah. because there's also like a, sh a 
so many characters. Like there might be like a meta, but like there might be like a hidden meta people haven't figured out yet, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, with right day now, one, right? they want definitely yeah. too much thing all talking about metas and what's strong and not. We don't know yet. Yeah, I mean, there is a meta forming for sure, but like, yeah. will it be the same in a month? Like, will Asusena still be considered a good character? Yeah. Will she be good? The, the Katarina meta, right? In, in Tekken, um, Tekken 7, where she was picked like a lot at the beginning and then barely after. <gasps> there we go. Lakomi! I'm <laughs> speeding up at the end, dude. Oh my, that's funny. It's funny. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I mean, that was saying, all right, we're done. Out of, get me out of there. <laughs> that that that's funny every time I'm seeing it. Thomas commentators, what do you are saying we're boring? <laughs> but we're both old and it's late, okay? It's almost 12. Yeah, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. That's, it's nice. Got, we can't nice. be waking up all the neighbors. You know? That's true. That's true. <laughs> Um, it, it's it. Well, who knew? Yeah, I mean, everyone knew, right? Poland got so many good Tekken players. It's actually insane. Um, very very strong scene overall, and obviously UK very very strong scene as well. True. Yeah, always got quite a bit of representation at the highest level. The UK, especially some new stars as well. Kane is in there, love to see it. And uh, yeah, that means we are just about ready for that grand final. All right, so um, Lakomi just needs one minute to maybe get some water. Kane that, on the cool. PS5. Oh, remember chat, gotta have some of that, um, you know, launch champagne. It's important, yeah. It was good, Sian. Well, it's good, well, it's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, good show today. Yeah. Were you offline, Sion, or like a launch event since you uh, didn't uh, join here? Because I know a couple players signed up, and then they uh, they ended up being um, they ended up being like busy because they had to go to on offline launch events, which you know I understand that's a bit more important than online tournaments. I, I would have done the same. Um, absolutely. Again, you know, uh, ourselves, we've got some cool merch from Bandai Namco, uh, Nordic, at our locals. Uh, nothing to do with Soldi, this thing, it's actually our locals. Um, they gave us, like, beanies, uh, cool t-shirts with, like, has, like, Tekken 8 on the chest, and then a cool gin print, I think, by JB Styles uh, in the back. And uh, we've got, like, tote bags and uh, beach balls um, to give out for, like, events. How many shirts we got? Uh, we got quite a bit actually. We've got like six shirts, I, I believe. The issue with the shirts is that uh, there's only one large and the rest are medium or small. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't think a lot of people in our local, myself included, uh, I can maybe fit in the large, right? Well, the rest is like, yeah. Definitely not fitting in a medium. Um, I mean, you can hang it up on your wall, right, as a trophy. And the beanie is cool, though. I, I, the beanie is really, really nice. It's very, uh, very hot. I've been wearing this beanie to work. Rapid the Tekken. Yeah. I still have, like, the the Tekken World Tour Finals oh, Amsterdam 2018 uh, beanie issues, that yeah. I uh, sometimes wear. Yo, thank you for the uh, sub, I've just seen that. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, we are getting ready though. Both players are here, ready up. 
to that I need to be ready, ready for a grand final. Obviously, Kane and Trench, right? Taking out Lakomi that 3 0 in the winner's finals. Round one. <laughs> Fight. There we go. Immediately round side. Yo, we could just get that counter hit. Hey. Not getting quite to wall. Spring kick, you know. Use a lot of the, the get up options. Loose to be really, really good right now. A bit more lenient. Doesn't that, you know, you don't get that get up three the launches. Ooh. Yeah, well, they are minus nine though, the get up kicks. So there's like a uh, there and death. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, that's actually it's kind of a funny rock, paper, scissors now. Alright. Please. Okay, very even. Yo! Gets that launch! Lakomi, okay. Okay, you know, those five minutes he needed, maybe that was just lapping the matchup. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> give me, a, like give me a sec real quick. Just gotta check. Like, wait, just gotta check some. How do I deal with that thing? <laughs> Not a bad idea. Maybe Kane was also like just in the lab, just more as the Sena stuff. Or oh, see, that's how he deals with that. Just takes the exact amount of space and then ducks the high. After yeah. making the, the rip. Give me the rip. Pressure is way. Hey, like again, yeah. I think the only player we've seen right in this tournament so good at dealing with that, not having any of that while running 3 2, just uh, saying, well, just stab it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I love uh, Papier's uh, comment, Super Ghost Download, yeah, that's an idea, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna be facing that guy, probably, let me download his ghost and then fight his True. ghost. Bro, I'm gonna <laughs> teach, while I wait, <laughs> gotta teach your ghost wrong then, you know, on purpose. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, Kung Pao, you know, yeah. you taught him wrong, as a joke. Yeah, you can you can download the ghost of an other player and, uh, and play it, it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun. Absolutely, yeah. you can. That's the, kind of the whole point, which is great. It's a super fun feature. I can see myself training against like Lee's ghost and yeah. Slash's ghost. Yeah. I'm gonna have my uh, ghost teabagging and stuff. It's gonna be really toxic. And then I'm gonna like be Fergus. Yeah. And you want your own funny. article? <laughs> um, someone wrote an article from Science yeah. about it. Second player taught his own AI to uh, disrespect. <laughs> Pretty funny. Man, Fergus always ends up like the news, you know, yeah. for some reason. Like, remember <laughs> like the, the awkward hook with, sing with uh, the awkward hook at the at headstone, right? The handshake yeah. hook. Always makes the news that one. Oh, that kills! Oh, oh my god. Damage. Yeah, the ghosts are not that good at replicating, but it's still fun. Um, you can actually, it can still be quite good, your ghost, actually. Like I know some people who, who trained it and then they, they lost to it. <laughs> like, so funny. 1-1. One, one. Nice. Dealing with that Pabukini really well. Oh. Lakomi. Okay. We actually got a match here. Getting first game on the board. Very, very interesting. Yeah. I'd also be dancing if my feet were uh, hitting uh, molten rock, you know, <laughs> like heated rock. <laughs> I'd also be tipping and tapping, you know. <laughs> Speaking of, didn't uh, Killer Instinct, now somebody mentioned uh, Killer Instinct uh, before. Didn't KI also used to have like a ghost mode? I vaguely remember that. Man, I hope we get a new KI, dude. Get I love, love KI. Battle. <laughs> this is true. She's she's not dancing. She's trying not to stand in place because the, the, the ground is hot. Oh man! Yeah, it's like those dogs on the beach, you know, to yeah. tap them. <laughs> oh man! That's a good comment. All right, getting the launch. We're taking a trip to the wall. Is that gonna explode? No. We have a slow start here for okay for Bukini. Bro, oh, that is so. Oh, that that's like me. It's like, wait, huh? What do I do? <laughs> yeah, I mean it pushes back so far after that. That's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're all uh, gonna have to learn our, our specific combos. Yeah. Nice, gets a parry, guaranteed hit, and a little low, one on one, okay. Yeah, one on one. Again, this Yoshi custom man is so clean. Super cool. Rainbow drop, attack. Yeah, there we go, you know. Nice while running move pressure. Let me just flash. I'm Yoshi Mitsu. Up down. This time there's no oh. Komi know the combo? Yep, sir. Simple. Tornado into the wild running 3 2 ender. Yeah, why but not? A lot of rainbow drops attempted, right? Um, not to attack this wall. Oh. Man, big risk oh. there with the, with, the, with the spring kick. Yep. And a 2 to 1 here. Oh wait, they swap places. Dude, that's gonna confuse me up. They have to do that in this game as well. It's only sometimes that you have to change. It's weird. There you go, low parry, solid cane. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they give crash, like uh, it used to be like the guy who was first got left if they chose left. But now maybe yeah. it's random or something. Yeah. It's gonna be difficult for you. <laughs> Away. Oh, the sway back blow. Ray shot. And into the ray charge for the damage. I mean, uh, they added a lot of customization to Tekken 7 through DLC, so it didn't have as much of a launch. Yeah, it was like uh, <laughs> Every <and> time. <laughs> the spit up. There was like a lot of crossover events as well, right? With like yeah. those those idols or whatever, and like adding a lot of customization. Yeah. So yeah, my, my hope is they're gonna expand, and I think they they are because it's kind of bare right yeah. now. Yeah. It 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 does the fast forward because it's not fully rollback; it's delay. So sometimes I'm slightly desynced from the uh, um, the replay, and if I'm slightly desynced uh, at the end, I'm like five seconds uh, behind them. It just like poof, speeds up, right? I think, yeah, I think the customizing that they have is nice, but I think the the amount you can choose from is very like lesser. Uh, but like the the like the core is there, right? Like it, it's it's quite nice that way. Just need a bit more so people can make their favorite cosplays again. Yeah. So the, the Leon Kennedy one I saw already was really. Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, getting that explosion. Look at the damage. Oh, just gonna go here. Huh? Yeah, man, the Doppler 2 got some nice evasion on it. Alright, and heat pressure. Whoa, and the heat. Smash. Fight. Nice block and punish. Flash doing a lot of work though. This time the overhead or the mid, sorry, I'm too used to 2D games. There we go, we had the mid this time, right? There is a mid that launches. It does exist. Oh, so chunky. And the mid. Roll down for one action, seals the deal, one to one. Trying Only to make getting closer to here. reset. Yeah, reminder: if Akomi wins this uh, game and wins the set, he'll have to win another set to be the winner, as it is double elimination, and he comes from the losers bracket. Right. I wonder if that's still plus. Right. Break his arm. Oh. Sweep. Smash. Oh, you don't you don't have the sword, Yoshi. <laughs> Round four. Fight. Oh, man. Okay, going with a no sword stance again. I don't know if that's matchup specific here. 
test it out, maybe see if that works. Alright, uh, right back. Punish. Sort of Again! Oh, that, that's so cheap, that move. Yeah, like on certain Okizemi, you can kind of make it like very hard to get away from. Okay, there we go. And the Got Raid him. Shot, not having it this time. There we go, and this Raid Shot was so sick. One of the best in the game, 100%. Yeah. It reminds me a bit of like. Some other samurai characters like like Bikens, you know, this is a very classic Japanese feel samurai movie, like turns to black and white slash super cool. Yeah. Yoshi's a ninja, yeah yeah yeah. Well, you know, it's have samurai movie aesthetics as a ninja, surely. And Kane and Trench. Getting a win on the board there. Okay. No, not even a speed up. So, uh. Interesting. Yeah, it would be funny to see the helicopter ending speed up. Yeah. Just yeah. zoom. <laughs> <laughs> zoom away. But yeah, crossplay seems to be working fine, right? Yeah, Which I is, think. Uh, the, the irony is that a lot of people are actually saying that crossplay is better um, because a lot of people have not the best PCs and that's usually Get what is making it lag. Battle. See, now it doesn't yeah. change sides. That's so weird. Right. It might just be random. Yeah, if, if both players pick left, it might just be random. Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's it. Yeah. Fight. Because uh, against the PS4 or PS5 player, you know it's not going to... PS5 that's lacking at least. Yeah. It would be like a very scuffed PS5 if that was the case. But yeah. Don't to be honest, me. like I've had like uh, I think zero zero lag honestly. Like yeah. uh, all connections so far have been pretty good. I've had a couple where it wasn't like uh, I've had like one where it was like lag lag, like the, the internet was like a bit scuffed and then I haven't have had a couple where it's like you could see the PC was chucking in. That character was kind of teleporting a little bit. Right. But overall, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. I've only done like uh, five, so like five bar only. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's. Uh, I don't know if you do four plus. I do. I do four plus because it's like I just want to get games really far. I guess sense. you do a five as well now. It's like that's early. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> the player numbers are pretty good. Yeah. Great shot. He's gonna live, I think. Yeah, yep. just barely. Big damage. I'm pretty sure rage damage still scales with the how low health you have. Yeah, oh, yeah I think it, does. it definitely, definitely does. does if you look at that damage. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at that damage, yeah. man, that's Again? cheap. Yeah. Right, Get off! Cut down. That tracks nicely. Yep. Yeah. Tracks very, very nicely. One to one. Good float. Classic. Okay, okay, what are you gonna do from this? No life lost. Lakomi just applying the pressure. Really, really good here. Oh. Alright, door knocker. It's 2 1. Lakomi. Again, set point here. I'm getting that reset. Looking knee, right, wait a second. Nice little lead to start off here. Good break. Third hit, finding its mark. Nice float there against the tilt 4 3. Again, how many of those have we seen? Man, do you have to react to that? Like, I need to lab that stuff. Yeah. She does. I mean, it doesn't do the most damage in the world, but still seems so cheap. Okay, look at the health regain on that. Jesus. That's gonna kill. Alright, let's see. Maybe we'll go to a final final game. Yeah. 
where Kane will be on tournament points versus the reset point of Lakomi. Ooh, not minus 13 it seems. Oh, yeah, oh that's very nice. so good when he gets that. Nice damage. Or go to the heat even. Guaranteed on the ground. Chip away. Yo! What? The spin. spin! Oh my god. Classic Yoshi. Damn, the timing on that. Very, very good. It's only. Uh oh. 2 to 2. Yeah. Tournament point Kane. Reset point Lakomi. This could be the potential final game of the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. So. Stick to your seats and keep them eyes peeled. Let's see what happens. Are we gonna get some more Tekken 8 action in this first salty EU Tekken 8? Crossplay. Crossplay. Or That's very important. Yeah. <laughs> or is it gonna be the end with Kane and Trench from the UK claiming victory today? We'll see. All right, let's go. Round one. Nice, nice float. float. Not having any of that kind of fly stance. Nice duck, okay. Oh, entry heat. Stone fist. Oh, one plus two. Nice. Oh, but didn't get quite a punish. Heat oh, pressure. The flash. Okay, heat of his own. Chipping away. Heat going down right now for Lakomi. Ooh. Yeah, nice that punish there on that low. And then the ATP for the win. Throw. On one. Again, that one one. Doing a lot of work. Who can me? Hey, hey, hey. I went for the mid there. Oh! He's too good. He's too good, man. He has Side the step. heat as well. Is he gonna use it? Yes, sir. Guaranteed on the ground. Just one needs one hit. little hit and a stone fist. Okay, potential tournament point here. Yep. Well, it is tournament point. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit of a big commit there. Yeah. Just hoping uh, for that to work. No, sometimes you, you gotta do it when you gotta do it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that worked, he would have seen like a, like a genius, and that momentum would have been amazing for a final round. Oh, he didn't get it. No duck, at least. Like, like Komi didn't duck the supposedly guaranteed hit. Oh, that health regen is really great. No. I flash, small punish. No punish against the low. Yo, the rain shot! Reaction. And it's Kane and Trench, ladies and gentlemen, today taking the big W with wow, what a reverse sweep in this set from an 0 2 to a 3 2. <laughs> the speed up. It's <laughs> funny every time, dude. <laughs> yeah, it gets me every time as well. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it. Damn. What a good way to end it. 3, 2, what a set, man. What a set. Uh, players all uh, very sportsmanlike, saying their GG's. GG's, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. Love that, love that. And yeah, it was very fun. A uh, very, very fun tournament overall. Definitely love a to see it. A great first edition. Yeah. yeah. Definitely enjoyed it. Again, man, really like this game so far. Oh, yeah, Tekken 8 will be every week. Absolutely. So if you don't know, um, you know, we do a weekly tournament. Uh, we used to do it for Tekken 7. Now we do it for Tekken 8. Um, it's on Saturdays. Uh, we start at uh, 7.15 CET. To tonight ended quite early. Or quite not early, quite late, I gotta say, um, at 12. But I do think it's mostly because we had uh, some issues with people joining lobbies, stuff like that. Um, once the rematch button gets fixed, that's, you know, it's going to be faster that way. But also, I, I generally feel like we just spend an hour with, like, tech issues in total or something, right? 
um, and a lot of it boils down to people um, not not really no <laughs> no TPFC get back no uh, TPFC would have to be on another different day maybe you can do it on Sunday sometimes or something I don't know but Tekken you know, it's, it's my game it's my main game so I definitely want to focus on that um, but yeah uh, I hope the next one is a bit faster but I think again at the end of the tournament I feel like it was much smoother than in the beginning people just have to kind of figure out how to join the lobby stuff like that so I'm definitely very very happy we had so many players join um, very very exciting 85 players um, joining up um, we actually have a quite a nice announcement for Tekken um, but I'm not the one announcing it so it's coming a bit later um, so it's something that's going to be pretty nice uh, and also uh, you know the game is new now um, so don't want to start anything before we have a couple of weeks maybe uh, of the game running but I'm gonna make my like my plan is that we make some sort of leak um, you know where to make it a bit more exciting where we get points to qualify and such and then because then I can put in more prize money in reality like for, for the final stuff like that I can I can make something that's maybe a bit more exciting than just regular weeklies um, and then also uh, once about a month passes we are gonna do a beginner tournament as well on Thursdays um, because right now I feel like we're too early to do a beginner tournament not gonna lie. Um, yeah we want some ranks to people yeah. check, but like ranks right now are all over the place. So yeah, yeah, I need I need to that to kind of settle just a little bit. Um, so it's kind of the rundown, the plan. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Wim, for commentating with me, the friend. Yeah, always a pleasure, Ace. Yeah, so make sure you go follow Wim. Obviously, you're gonna stream some Tekken Eight. Um, yeah, I probably more. will on occasion. It will be sparsely though, but like not like a regular schedule. But yeah. you can also join me on the Twitter because I do, uh, you know, retweet a lot of cool uh, tournaments and Tekken news. Like I'm mostly on Twitter for the Tekken, so no, uh, <laughs> no weird tweets from me. Hopefully, <laughs> not yet so, at yeah. least. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Um, Van Dyne, I don't know. At least for now, I'm gonna focus on Tekken for like the next couple of months. Um, so if there is gonna be DBFC, I'm not gonna lie, see me in, I don't know, May or something, or June maybe even. Because um, oh, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a long time and uh, I'm definitely gonna grind it. Um, also, instead of doing tournaments all day, so I'm definitely just gonna have some days where I just stream. Tekken. I want to get into that a little bit more. Um, I think it helps. Um, sometimes you're like, oh, I do I want to play? Then just streaming a little bit ranked is good. I don't know. Definitely something I'm looking into. But yeah, that is going to be it for our tournament tonight. We're going to raid somebody. Um, obviously, if you don't know, we also have a YouTube channel. Um, and uh, I'm going to get this VOD up there um, as soon as possible. Um, I hope actually that I can get it up like so it's there on Monday maybe uh, that'd be quite nice so uh, look out for that uh, but all the other games there as well obviously we do you know Guilty Gear and we do uh, Guilty Gear Excerpt and Blaze Blue Central Fiction so not bad not bad yeah um, let me just see who we are raiding I think let's go to my let's go to the fella let's go to the fella um, Snake Belmont maybe could be funny do, 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 yeah, there's a lot of people do, do, do. streaming yeah. Tekken A right now with uh, quite a bit of viewers. Yeah. So oh, help, help me is streaming from Korea. I'm, I got the new Help Me uh, arcade stick. Um, it's apparently a really good Korean one. It's pretty decent. Yeah, let's go to... I'm just looking because oh, there's a lot of people I know streaming right now. You're Randy Orton streaming the legend oh yeah i might i might check that out tomorrow i, I definitely might i might um like at least i want to see my uh the homies how they they're gonna do in um how they're gonna do in uh, in the finals you do lane lane is nice yeah, yeah lane from lane. spain yeah. Lane, lane, yeah. 
me sneakily always trying to appease the Spanish community somehow. They're just so yeah. nice, the Spanish community. Big fan. Um, again, please, where is the Spanish tournament? Spanish major 2024. Thank you. Yeah. I'll go to Italy. I'll go to Spain. You know, just some nice places that are pretty cheap to travel. You know. Yeah, have sure. a good one. I mean, the stream is ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a good one, Van Dyne. And uh, have if a good there was one. any time to go, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect time. Have a good one, everyone. I'll yeah. uh, see you Monday uh, when, when we have a strike tournament. So have a good one. Peace out. Good night, everyone.